All right, what is going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning now. Happy Tuesday, man. What is happening, Jack? What up? It feels like it's been a while since I've seen you guys. What's going on, man? Good morning, Bing freaking Bong. What up, Delion? What up, man? What's good? AJ in the building, NW, Brittany in the building. Romy P a little early this morning. What's going on, chat? Oh, man. Holy crap, the music thought. What's going on, chat, man? Talk to me. Hopefully, everything is well with every single one of you guys in the chat. Feels like it's been a little bit since I've seen you guys. What, since, uh, I think it's been, what, since Saturday, I think? No, not even Saturday. I think it's been since Sunday. So, it's been like a couple days since I've seen you guys. But good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Here at Rapid Collect, hope everyone is doing very, very well. Um, happy Tuesday. Another uh, another day for this week. It's going to be a pretty decent week when it comes to drops, but hopefully you guys missed me. I know it's been a little bit since I've seen you guys, but I, I know uh, I definitely missed out on uh, you know the 350 V2 drop, but I do have an expl uh, explanation why I did. But good morning, Brittany. Jason Pharmacist in the building. Uh, Mr. Exclusive, good morning, Rafi, my my guys. How's it? Uh, how's it going, buddy? It's been going. What? It's going very, very well, dude. I got a haircut, dude. I got a haircut. Um, but my, I would definitely say that my sleeping schedule is all messed up. Um, and I blame, I blame one thing and one thing only. And I'll let you guys know what's been going on. What up, Matthew? What's going on, Rafi? What's where's the link? Oh no. Good morning. Uh. OG23 Retro, what up, man? Good morning, uh, Rafi and Collection Family. What up, man? Signs the time. Is it Signs the Times? What up? Hope you had a blessed Father's Day. Save your uh, uh, live look. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, Father's Day was great, man. We had, like, dude, Father's Day. Oh, man. We had this really, really good steak dinner. Oh, gosh. It was so fire. I've always wanted to try the steak dinner. So, basically, like, we went to, like, this. We went to a mall. I took my kids to this indoor little playhouse thing that I've been promising Baby Rose about, um, and then we had this like, like we we're supposed to be, we we're supposed to like go to hibachi. I don't know if you guys know what it is. Basically, when like they like cook in front of you and stuff like that, but like I we had to wait like an hour and forty five minutes just for it. So there was like this steak, uh, you know, place that I've never had, and where basically they go around. And like you choose any steak or kind of meat that you want, lamb, uh, freaking pork, uh, you know, ribeye steak, you know, uh, sirloin, like, like all these guys are just walking around. They just slice it up for you. Um, if you want, um, you know, a piece and it, dude, it was amazing, dude. I've never had so many, so much steak in my entire freaking life, but that place was so fire, super pricey. But it, I think, me personally, it was all well worth it. Like, it was really, really good steak. Uh, D. Michelle, Frosty in the building. BJ, Rahus, Blessed Guy, Iggy, Shakes, what up? Uh, Stoned, Cody, what up? Julian, X, Brian, what up? Um, Yes, it's called Brazilian Steakhouse. Yes, it's Brazilian Steakhouse. That's basic. It's like Brazilian something. It wasn't really called brazilian steakhouse but it was brazilian something with brazilian in it it was dude it was it was fire bro it was so so good like oh gosh it was mouth-watering like i had so much steak like i was just trying every single thing that was coming like they're like you want one i was like hell yeah cut me a piece the pieces were like freaking huge bro um jesus christ is well worth it when the wifey pays um yeah i guess so uh juan what up 
Uh, it's like Bogo D Chow, I guess, bro. It was super fancy. Um, I brought my. It wasn't really the thing is I didn't really like it because it's like, well, not really like it. It's not kid friendly because I had my kids with me. So Riley eats a lot of like you know different chicken, steak, and stuff like that. But Rose does not eat meat. So that's the thing. Like Rose was sitting there eating like white rice, and she didn't really like anything else. And then she liked the pieces of like some cheese that they had. Um, like you had to like stand up and go get like there was like salad, beans. There was all types of salad, actually. A lot of types of salad, a lot of different cheeses, um, stuff like that. So it was a good time, bro. It was really, really a good time. Um, Link Dunk High. Stefan, cha cha cha. The, the stream just started. We'll get to it, man. We'll get to it. We'll definitely get to it. But like I said, it was a good time. Father's Day was good. Hopefully, everyone had a great Father's Day as well. Uh, but today, we had a, a live cup. We have a live cup of the Union LA Nike Cortezes, which is not going live until 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then we have Panda Dunk Highs, and we have some Jordan 9s um, this morning as well. So if anyone needs the link for the dunks, okay, it's on the Nike, uh, on the Nike app, Nike website, okay? Um, there's the link for you. If someone was wondering, okay, Nike link. All right, geez, like the, the stream just started and everyone's like, where's the link? Where's the link? Uh, but there's the link for you if you need that one. Uh, happy birthday, Raph. I appreciate it, but it's not my birthday. But hopefully everyone had a really great Father's Day. But yesterday, hopefully you guys were able to cop the 350 V2s. Um, it seems like the 350 V2s was a pretty easy cop when it came to the white colorway, like the bone colorway. A lot of people hit on that one. Decrees, what up, bro? What up, Decrees? Y'all liking these Cortezes? I'm not a big fan of these Cortezes. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, they're okay. They're all right. What up, Rocket? What's good? Francisco, good morning. Uh, Ricardo, uh, Jordan to uh, May, what? Masons? Uh, don't know if I've seen those before or yet. Karina, good morning. What's the password, Rafi? Yeah. Do um, you think the Cortez is going to break hard? I think so. I think so. No one doesn't really, don't, no one wears Cortezes like that, man. It's just everyone would want to go for the Cortez because it's a collaboration. Sure, but I don't think it's going to do well in the resale market, to be honest. Uh, where the Cortezes drop? The Cortezes are going to be dropping on the Union LA website. Going to be dropping on Union LA. All right. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to assume that, um, what's it called? The Cortezes are going to go load up on the sneakers app. I'm not sure when, uh, but like I said, they, they're mainly going to be dropping on the union website. Okay. That's where they're going to be dropping. I'm going to be waiting around on the, um, uh, what's it called on the union homepage, but it's either going to be on like basically this collection right here page, or it's going to be on loaded up on the homepage. But I mean, either or, it doesn't really matter. I will be going full uh, go on uh, Union Cortez's. I don't even know what retail price is. Does anyone know what retail is on the Union Cortez's? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I feel like out of the two colorways, I do like the tan colorway if I have to choose. But me personally, like, I'm just not a Cortez guy. I don't have any Cortez's in my collection. But, I mean, I just don't think they're going to do as well as people think they are. Um, I went for the Onyx. The only thing, uh, confirmed sent me was, uh, 20 L notifications. Now just hoping someone hit my, uh, address and didn't notice. Sheesh. Uh, 130, 130 is retail. Okay. 130 is retail. That's not bad. I feel like Cortez is our, I thought they were cheaper than that, but $130, that's not too bad. I'm going to assume 150 after tax and shipping, right? When it's settled and done with, like it's going to be $150 retail. Um, after tax and shipping, because it's going to be what, $25, uh, $25 shipping, depending where you live tax. I'm not sure they're going to tax you, but the 170 ish, 155. I don't know. Um, morning. What up? Nitro was good. 150. Run it up from them. Go. What's up? LW LW. We haven't seen you on discord in a little bit. I think slow was asking for you one, uh, one day because it's been a while since we've seen you on the discord VC easy pass on the Cortezes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like just Cortezes are going to sell out, of course, but I personally think it's going to be an easy cop regardless, uh, you know, the size. But I feel like, I feel like obviously smaller sizes, like a size eight through a nine and a half have the advantage, but I still think there's going to be a lot of these available. 
I don't even know. They uh they do a raffle at Union LA store in LA. I'm not even sure if they even did a raffle or something like that because I didn't I didn't hear much about it. What up, Axel? What's good? Top of the morning, my friend. Uh, have you seen the Donald uh, Glove New Balances? I have not, bro. I've seen the uh, what's it called? I've seen the the new ALD 550s. Uh, that went that went live. The raffle went live. I've seen those. Uh, I think the raffle end, ends today, I believe, right? No Cortez for me. What up, D. Michelle? I appreciate you still tapping in, though. Um, Union first come, first serve. No raffle, really. I'm going to be surprised if there's not going to be a lot of people in line for them. But, you know, it's a Union collab, so I'm sure the hype is still there, you know. But we're back at it, though. You know, it's so funny. Like, we were just here uh, about the Union LA uh, Jordan 2s. I wonder if, like, if the reason a lot of people are passing because of the last drop, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think the next this drop is going to be as bad as the Jordan 2, but I don't know if there's going to be a lot of hype around these Cortezes. Uh, shout out to Mr. Exclusive. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. Rafi is the go. Run it the F up. Appreciate it, Mr. Exclusive. Thank you so much for ringing up for six, or is it six months? Yeah, six months. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, Rafi, how many times will Union charge my credit card today? Dude, I don't know, bro. I think that's what people are going to be warned about this morning is how many times Union is going to freaking charge your credit card this morning, man. I, I don't blame you, though. I don't blame you. I, I feel like it left a lot of people salty about the last drop. Um, Raffle ends at 11.59 p.m. EST today. Okay, on the L ALD 550s. Uh, shout out to Complex. Thanks so much for ringing up for six months. I appreciate you ringing up for six months, my friend. Uh, cop the Cortez is for personal only resale value. Not there at all. No, not at all. I think if you want to go for the uh the Cortezes, I think you only should go for the personal. In my personal opinion. Shout out to Brittany. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. How has it been six months already? I don't know. It's been a while, dude. Six months. Sheesh, I feel like, I think my my first ever member on the channel, I think it was Kia. You know, it's funny, I think it was Kia, but we haven't seen Kia in a little bit. Uh, where do you have uh, terms for the drop on the Union Dunks? I couldn't cop because my uh, CC billing wasn't the same as my shipping. Where do you, wait, what? Where do they have terms for the drop? What do you mean terms? What do you mean by that? Uh... It's been three, not six. Yeah, I don't know. It's been six months, bro. I don't know why. Uh, it's a combination of last drop and it's uh, it's a Cortez. Good morning, collection family. Passing on the Union and Panda highs, but I'm here to support. What up, C. Marie? I appreciate you uh, tapping in here on the stream. Thank you so much. You're the man, Rafi. Must be hard work to, uh, to do all these live streams. Yeah, man. We've been doing this since, what, 2020? Um, so, man, this is... I know... I don't know how long we've been doing this, like the end of 2019 or since 2019, we've been doing this. So this is, uh, this is, this is just another day, my friend. Um, six months of greatness back. What time are the Cortez is dropping? The Cortez don't drop until 11 Eastern time. Cortez do not drop until 11 Eastern time, but it's nice. Um, it's nice that we have like drops like in between. So, like, we have the uh, Dunk Highs and we have the Jordan 9s in between at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And then the Union drop at 8. So, it's going to be it's gonna be nice today, man. I think it's going to be a, a, a good drop today. I feel like there's going to be a good amount of people going for the Union Cortezes and the Panda Dunks. So, I feel like everyone's going to be more a little bit more hyped once the time gets a little bit closer uh, to the drop time. So, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Uh, so I want to mention to you guys that I did mention earlier is that like, dude, um, is that like, bruh, like my sleeping schedule has been all types of messed up because I've been telling you guys that I've been watching Harry Potter. Don't judge me. Okay. But I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter lately and I'm on, I, we just watched Half Blood Prince, which was a really great one, man. Uh, shout outs to Jason, the pharmacist. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. He said, Corvette, Corvette. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jason, pharmacist. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for ringing up for six months. But like I said, like Half Blood Prince is, was a really great movie. It was when Dumbledore uh, died. 
when Sni uh, S uh, Snape um, uh, freaking killed him. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. And I think I'm on the last two. I think the last one is the, um, what's the last two? It's like part one, uh, Deathly Hollow part one. I think I'm, uh, that's, that's coming up, but dude, it was, it was great, dude. I, I enjoyed, I think once, um, uh, what's it called? Azkaban. I think once that hits, I think after that, all the movies are really, really good. I feel like all of them have been good anyways, but they've been long movies. Like yesterday, I feel like the movie was just endless. I was like, damn, this movie's not ended yet. I was like, an hour went by. I was like, damn, it's still going. But you spoiled it. What do you mean spoil it, bro? That's not spoiling anything. If you haven't watched Harry Potter by now, like, I don't know what you're doing. But it was it was a good movie. I think I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I watched this one, um, Half Blood Prince. When I was watching it, I was like, dude. I was telling my girl, I was like, I don't think I've ever watched this uh, this movie. And she was like, What do you mean he never watched this movie? I was like I remember him dying, but I don't remember watching all these all these scenes. So I don't think out of all the Harry Potter movies, I think this was the one that I've never watched. Um. Have you read the uh, Harry Potter books? No, but I, you know what? I brought it up to my coworkers about the Harry Potter uh, movie, and they're like, I heard the books are really, really, like, I heard they're really, really deep, like, for real. Like, obviously, the books were made way before uh, the actual movies, but I heard the books are really, really good. I low-key want to read all the books, but the thing is, like, books nowadays are really expensive, but um, I wouldn't mind, you know, you know, going back because I need I need to read books, bro. I'm bad. Obviously, you know I'm really bad at reading, but still, I heard the books are really good. I love Harry Potter. I watch it weekly. Okay. Um, I don't know about me watching Harry Potter weekly, but I mean, once I'm done with the watching the series, um, I think I'll be okay. Uh, watching, bro. Uh, Phil Blah this week. What up, Andrew? Andrew. Hopefully everything is well, man. Hopefully everything is good. Uh, what you mean you haven't watched it also? Yeah, I haven't. I think this was the one movie out of all the Harry Potter movies. I think this is the one that I've never watched for some reason. I don't know why. I've watched Deathly Hollow number one and two, like part one and part two, but I don't think I've watched the Half-Blood Prince. I feel like I've watched the ending of Half-Blood Prince, but this is like, I don't remember watching any of the scenes. Um, salute Traffy. I'm a pa I'm passing on today's drop. Big fan from Germany. What up, Mickey? That's a Mickey always coming through, man. Uh, reading rainbows, basically, bro. When it's early in the morning and you're from the West Coast and you're reading comments at five in the morning, I'm pretty sure you'd feel the same way how I feel, man. Rubbing your eyes, making sure your eye boogers are not on your eyes anymore. You got to read. Imagine how you had have to read like for like three, four hours a day, bro, at five in the morning. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't enjoy it sometimes i mean i enjoy it because i'm used to doing it but it's tough doing all this bro i don't see them on uh the union site yeah because they haven't loaded up bro they haven't loaded up man you got to be patient they'll load up at 11 eastern time that's when the shoes drop yo rafi can you explain the drop like you usually do and where the uh where to go when the domain switch the you guys like i said if you're more than experienced when it comes to this union website you should already know what to do like i said I know we got new people in here, but in my personal opinion, I would either just stay in the union, uh, union, uh, collection, which is the, this one right here, this page where it has all the apparel, or you could stay on the homepage. Like it should load up on the homepage somewhere in the homepage. I feel like that's where you're going to see the domain change. And I think you should be, you should be fine. You should be okay being, staying on the homepage. Um, at that point, it's just all how all about how quick you are when it comes to the sneaker i personally think it should be an easy cop uh this morning when it comes to the union cortezes i'm not sure how many they have out there uh when it comes to uh when it comes to the sneaker uh, but like i said i feel like it should be a an easy cop depending on the size for sure if like you're a size eight through a nine and a half or an eight through a like ten i think you should be okay uh good morning everyone what up james what's good uh morning fam the not a word what up yo what's good rafi good morning are you going for the cortezes what colorway are you going for i think i'm gonna pass on the cortezes this morning i mean they're okay um nothing too crazy about them 
Um, I'm still waiting on my two Paisleys to come in. My SB Paisleys and the uh, the Syracuse Paisleys. Still waiting for those to come in. So uh, I'm not really trying to cop any of the Cortezes. Like I want to cop something for the toe, uh, mainly for the toe. Oh, by the way, I want to update you guys. Uh, I should be getting my Tom Sachs in this week. Um, I got an update. I'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow, but it should be sometime this week. I'm getting my Tom Sachs. I'm not sure because I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up. Yo, Raph, did you ever get your Tom Sachs? Do you have any updates? Bro, you know how many people that hit me up that hasn't uh that haven't received their Tom Sachs yet, nor their Tom Sachs haven't moved? Like it's crazy, man. A lot of people still waiting for their Toms, man. A lot of people still waiting for their Toms. Good morning, Raffy, going for the dunks. Um, I might go for the dunks this morning. Uh, what up, Ron? Shots of Ron kicks in the building. I'm still waiting on my Tom Sachs. I am uh scared that they are going to be canceled. I don't think so, man. I think they're just sending them out on wait, like on waves. That's why I've been like, that's why it's always cool to download the UPS or FedEx app because you'll see your label created before they actually ship out your shoes. So if you don't have the UPS or a FedEx uh, uh, app, I would definitely recommend you uh, downloading it because it does help. Gavin, did you see the complex 2022 list? I did not see that. What list? What list are you talking about? Uh, mine shipped coming soon. There you go. I just got uh, the ship. Shipped out notification last night. Yeah, I should stay patient. Like, if they wanted to cancel out, uh, if they wanted to cancel out orders, they would have done it already, honestly. So if you're still waiting for yours, I think you should be okay. Shout out to Rahus. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. Um, I'm passing on everything. Only want the off whites. There you go. You're talking about the Air Force One mids. I forgot they're releasing this week. They're releasing on Thursday, right? Because tomorrow we have dunks. We have two dunks that are dropping tomorrow. And then we have the um we have the off whites on Thursday, right? Uh best sneakers so far by uh complex. Yo, yo, uh Delion, link me, bro. Link me that link on Twitter. Uh tag me on Twitter on that link. I need to see that, bro. Tag me on Twitter. Uh Rafi, you streaming for the SBs tomorrow? Um, yes, I will be streaming for the SBs tomorrow. Those and as well as the all pink dunks that are dropping on Nike. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to get delivered to uh, mine's getting delivered today. The Rose Whispers. Damn, you're just now getting those today. Uh, we have which dunks we have. We have those all white SB dunks dropping on uh sneakers app. And then we have those all pink dunks dropping on the Nike app tomorrow. So we have a couple dunks tomorrow. Nothing too crazy. Um, damn, it's been six months already. Sheesh. Yes, sir. I appreciate your support, my, my boy. Uh, that list is Basura. They have a Jordan 35 in top 10. Well, don't spoil it, bro. Why are you trying to spoil it? Just send me the link. Send me it on Twitter. Send me the link on Twitter. Don't spoil it for anybody. Um, let's see. Dunk lows. These are dropping tomorrow. These two are the dropping tomorrow. These dunks. These two dunks are dropping tomorrow. Uh, be true dunk and the dunk glow all pink dunks are dropping tomorrow. These are the two shoes that are dropping tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So nothing too crazy until we get the uh, off white mids, right? The off white mids. Uh, Rafi, you hit on the shock drop dunk. I did. If you're talking about the shock drop SB uh, Paisleys, I did hit uh, the shock drop. I canceled my um, my what? My SS Clip uh, group membership and join the collection family to get more information here. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Uh, you did, bro, Romy P. How do you not watch Harry Potter? No, no, I don't care if you haven't watched. That's your fault, bro. How do you? How do you? How how do you even? How do you not watch Harry Potter? What do you mean? That's way different. That's way different. If you haven't watched Harry Potter yet, from now from here. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Harry Potter's been out for years, and you haven't watched one movie? That's your fault. That's that's definitely your fault. I don't care if I spoil Harry Potter for you. That's on you. Um, because Harry Potter, if you haven't watched Harry Potter by now, you were, uh, you're not living. <laughs> um, Prison Pink and Be True About Dunks. Yeah, big facts. Um, it's a lot of people who need to be true. Jesus. Uh, bro, explain how you hit on the SB dunks. I just hit. It's because of Soul Links. Soul Links was the reason why I hit. 
That was one reason why it hit. It was because of Soul Links. One reason why uh, we hit because of Soul Links. Um, I do want to let you guys know. Um, I'm trying to get Shopify filters very, very soon on the Discord group. Um, we've been kind of, you know, in the talks with it with the individual that I uh that is uh that is really encouraging me to get Shopify filters, uh, monitors. If that if you if that doesn't really make sense to some of you guys, if you guys don't know what Shopify uh monitor sh filters are, so basically is if anything drops or gets loaded up like quick, um, on like Shopify sites, Kith, undefeated, um. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get that implemented to dis on the Discord group and with the members here on the channel. So uh, I'm in the works. I'm not sure when that's gonna be um that is going to be implemented, but I'm hoping it get it gets implemented soon. Um, people were asking me like if I do get Shopify, uh, Shopify Shopify monitors, um, am I gonna bump up the price um when it comes to like Discord? I think I'm planning to stay it with the $2 uh, when it comes to the Shopify filters uh, monitors. So it's a little bit more of a perk for all the members here on the channel. So I'm trying to get that implemented. It is definitely very, very difficult, um, but I am trying my best um, to get that implemented. So we'll see. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, going for the 550 mochas, the 550 mochas. You're talking about the 550 new balances? Uh, that's awesome. We appreciate you uh, helping us cop. Yeah, it's good for all manual users, man. It's all good for manual users because um, we know how difficult it is to cop from like undefeated and Shopify sites. Uh, so hopefully that filter will definitely uh, uh, definitely help out. Um, let's see. Uh, thoughts on the uh, on the on the nines dropping today? Uh, one thing, Alan, you don't really have to spam that, bro. Like to, for me to see your comment. You don't have to spam your comment, bro. You really don't. Um, let's see. Uh, link for the union. I got you, bro. It's going to be on union website. Promise, man. I promise it's going to be on the union website. Here it is. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, let me let me get a chance to read the comments for sure. Let me get, give me a chance, man. Sometimes you guys don't make me breathe when it comes to uh, uh, with the comments. Hold on. Let me see. Let me go on Twitter real quick because I want to see that list real quick. I traded my Mocha ones for the New Balance 550 Mochas. There you go, bro. If that's something you like. If that is something you like. Uh, let's see. Let me look at this real quick. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at this right after. We'll definitely take a look at this right after because I'm actually curious how this list is looking like. Um, did you go for any 350s yesterday? No, I did not, bro. I slept in yesterday, bro. I didn't really care for the uh, 350s, to be honest. Um, I know a lot, some people, a lot of people actually went to 350s, but I didn't really care for it, to be honest. Uh, what time does the union drop? Unions don't drop until 11 a.m. Eastern time, my friend. Unions do not drop until 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys run it up to 100 likes. If you guys don't mind, smash that like button, man. I greatly appreciate you guys tapping in here on the streams. Uh, but if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, and make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel as well, man. Maybe I'm crazy, but those off-white mids are growing on me every day. Off-white mids are okay. I'm just not an Air Force One, like, I'm not an Air Force One mid guy, I guess. Um, I'd wear all white ones, but I just don't like the look of it, honestly. I really don't like the look of the off-white mids. Yo, Rafi. If you do that, uh, you're going to change the game. Collecting uh, family going to take over. Big facts, bless guy. I'm telling you, man. If we add if we add monitors to the Discord group, it's definitely going to change the game because, like, two dollars a month is like, bro, that's easy money, bro. Like for real. Like if you're paying two dollars a month for um, Shopify filters, like monitors, bro, that is so cheap. Like hella cheap. All these uh, other cook groups are like, obviously, there's more benefits into other cook groups i get it but like all you need is shopify monitors bro shopify monitors hibbit sports and other foot sites um but we're gonna try to test it out to see how you know how how people like it but it seems like a lot of people on discord are excited about it so um we'll see how that goes what time is union dropping man 11 eastern time man 11 a.m eastern time uh, i might have to pin the comment of what time union is dropping. 
uh, because we're going to get a lot of questions what time these unions are going to be dropping. Uh, the live cops yesterday were hilarious. I didn't watch anybody's live cop yesterday, bro. I was asleep, bro. I was asleep yesterday on the, uh, on the uh, drop yesterday. Uh, excuse me, I was playing twenty sixty dollars a month. Hey, people could buy whatever they want, man. If they want to, if they want to pay the price for a cook group, hey, just let them, man. You know, obviously, you know, obviously they have like they've copped many sh sneakers and stuff like that. But uh, shout out to Astro, thanks so much for ringing up for four months. Respect, Drafty. I can't wait for the uh, the filters. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are definitely excited, but. Uh, we'll see. I'm trying to get that implemented by July. Um, hopefully by July, I'm going to get that implemented. So hopefully, hopefully very, very soon. Uh, please no spamming. You don't need to spam in the chat, Edwin. Edwin, we, you don't have to spam in the chat, man. That kind of gets you timed out if you spam more than five times, bro. Um, you going for any dunks this morning, Rafi? Uh, maybe. I might go for the dunk highs. We'll see. Rafi, you got those uh, extra eight hours uh, at your job yesterday because the holiday? Yes, sir. I had yesterday off, man. We had Juneteenth off. So uh, normally when, like, j if any holiday lands on a weekend, we'll have the following, you know, weekday, like Monday or Friday off, So which is really, really nice. Um, let's see. What up, Dusty? That's my boy Dusty in the building. What up, y'all? What up, bro? What is going on? Uh, you don't really have to hide. Who hit him in the chat? Uh, you don't really have to hide him from the chat. You could put him on timeout, but you don't have to hide him. Uh, he didn't really say anything bad, but he just basically um, okay, okay. So whoever's hiding everybody in the chat, like you don't need to hide them in the chat. Uh, hold on. Wait, did I just hide him? What happened there? You guys don't need to hide people in the chat. Hold on for that. Hold on. Yeah, you don't ha you have to hide people from the chat. You could put them on timeout, but you don't have to hide them from the chat. Hopefully, we get it in the in the time for the reverse mochas. Hopefully, reverse mochas, man, is gonna be a problem, bro. We kind of we kind of talked a little bit about the um about the reverse mochas, but I think reverse mochas. Are dude, it's I think those are gonna be a are gonna be a problem. Good morning, collection fam. Let's smash that like button. What up, Tina? What's good? What colors are uh coming out on the Union LA Cortezes? They're like tan and black. There's a tan colorway, and then there's uh there's a black colorway. Uh I'm afraid to text in the chat. Yeah, like mods, please chillax. Don't you don't have to hide anybody. See, now people are gonna be afraid to like comment in the chat and then you you make me lose viewers here in the on the stream so you don't have to hide romy p uh please don't hide anybody in the chat uh do you like the uh, cortezes rafi i mean they're okay i mean i'm not too crazy about the cortezes um like i'm not gonna overhype the cortezes because it's collaboration you know what i'm saying like that's just that's just not me if i i'll go for a shoe that i really really like and i'll you guys will know when i really want a sneaker but it's a Cortez, man. Like, I feel like if these Cortezes dropped and if there weren't a union uh, collab, I feel like no one would really want them. Um, my Tom's uh, Nutsack are uh, finally coming in today. There you go, Antonio. Um, I haven't hit anybody. Someone hit somebody, bro. But please don't hide anybody, please. Um, security! Security! Um... Thoughts on the resale for Tom Sachs? Um, I think they're going down, right? The Toms are going down. I think I low key, I think I low key might um use them as trade bait, but we'll see. We shall see. Um, it was somebody. My bad, Romy P. Sorry for accusing you, but I'm gonna accuse all my mods. There we go. I'm gonna put all my mods to it. My bad, Romy P. I apologize. Uh, do you like the Jordan Two Mason? Uh, I I have not seen those. I think a couple of people already mentioned it about it. So if you guys like, um, uh, if you guys tag me on Twitter on a sneaker, uh, just tag me and I'll check it out. Uh, Rafi, why you grab, why you grab the straw like that? Because I got to reach over for it. What do you mean, bro? Iggy, get your mind out of the gutter, bro. Jesus. <laughs> um, keep me out of this. What up, Soul Paradise? What up, Soul? Hopefully everything is well, Soul. Appreciate you tapping in. It's been a while since I've seen your uh your name in the chat. 
Rafi, I said my uh, toms for I sold my toms for four hundred bucks. That's not bad, bro. There you go. Make your money, bro. Rafi, I sent you a DM uh, of the uh, Madison uh, uh, Chan. Is that how you say Chan Tui? Chan Chua? Chan Chu? I don't know how to say it. Uh, <laughs> I need to hit that Tom Zach restock. I will uh, wear those every day for the work. I think they're going to be a little bit more limited uh, when they drop uh, in August. I think that's when the next drop is in August. I think they're going to be a little bit more limited um, because, I mean, I feel like majority of the stock uh, drop on the first drop. I don't think you're going to see as much uh, stock on the next drop, to be honest. Uh, but let me go ahead and look at these lists real quick. Shout out to Deleon. So we have the best Jordan of 2022 so far. Oh, gosh. I'm, a I'm actually really, really nervous about this one. Uh, by the way, stock numbers just went live on Discord if you guys want to check it out. But the best Air Jordan of 2022. I'm kind of nervous about it. What do you guys think number number 10 is? All right. Best Jordans of so far of 2022. All right, here we go. Number 10. Air Jordan 1, Marina Blues. Um, for me, I think, I think, I think Marina Blues are, I think they're nice. I think the Marina Blues are nice. I think they're very underrated. I think they're a very underrated Jordan 1. Uh, but like top 10, sure. I, I would agree with this number one. Okay. I would agree right here. Number 10 right here. Marina Blues. Not too bad. Number 10, Marina Blues. All right. They're all right. Yeah, they're they're all right. I mean, I feel like they're still underrated for sure. Number nine. Okay. Jordan not Jordan six midnight navy blue. Um sure. Sure. I feel like top ten is it's whatever you guys like, I guess. But Jordan six, midnight navy blue, clean colorway. Okay. I get it. Not a lot of you guys are a fan of Jordan 6s. I 100% get it. But still, I think this sneaker right here in general is still a nice GR. Okay? What? Because it's not limited? Because it's not limited? Okay? We got to think about it. We got we to think about it. Okay? Who cares if it's limited? Who cares if it's not limited? Who cares if it's a, if it's a GR? Okay? Who cares? But I still think right here, this shoe right here is still a clean colorway. Think still clean. All right. But let's move on to number eight. Air Jordan 3. One in mochas. Number eight. Okay. I think it's nice. I think these threes were really, really clean. I'm glad this was way before the Marina Blues, though. I think and I think it's not too bad. Okay. Number eight. Jordan 3 mochas. Number seven, Air Jordan 5 Green Bean. Okay, if you're an OG sneakerhead, I feel like if you're an OG sneakerhead, um, I feel like if you're an OG sneakerhead, I feel like you'd definitely put this on your top 10. If you're an OG. If you're an OG, I feel like a lot of OGs would definitely put this on their top 10. Uh, but I wouldn't put this on my top 10 for sure. Like That's just me. That's just me. Number seven, green bean, fives. Number six, UNC sixes. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. The reason why I'm getting a little nervous because so far I haven't seen Red Thunders. Uh, I haven't seen Red Thunders. What else we haven't seen? Um, Red Thunders. Damn, there's so many shoes that released this year. No. Um, I feel like low key. Okay, I'll give you guys my opinion after this. All right, here we go. Number six, Air Jordan six UNC. Not too bad, not too shabby. I like this. All right, number five.
Air Jordan 36 in Fred. The f what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we went to that to this. He doesn't even go here. Who, who the hell? Who are you? <laughs> they went to the UNC Sixes. I I have never seen this sneaker in my entire career. Okay, as 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 a uh, as a live copper of copping shoes every single day of my entire career, I have never seen this shoe ever. The hell is this? I feel like I could get a better jump shot wearing foam runners than wearing these. All right, let's move on to number four. The hell is that, bro? So someone fire the dude that made this list. I'm sorry. All right, let's go to number four. I'm kind of scared now, bro. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous now. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, number four, Jordan 12 playoff. I feel like this is like a, a list of GRs. Top 10 GRs of 2022. Is this just Jordans? Has to be just Jordans. Yeah, best Jordan so far. Number 12, number four, 12 playoffs. Dude, I'm kind of nervous. Now we're at the top five. Now I'm really nervous. Number four, Jordan 12 playoffs. Oh my God, bro. Number three? The Air Jordan 3 muslin? Here we go. Where's the Alma Manier Jordan 3 fans at? Where's the Alma Manier Jordan 3 fans at? Where are you guys at? There, there you guys go. Where's the Air Jordan 3 Alma Manier fans? There you guys go. There, you guys asked for it. You guys asked for it. Whoever is the um, oh, these look like the um, hey, I, keep the same energy. You guys asked for this bulls. Y'all asked for this one. Y'all overhyped this all. Do you look exactly like the um, Manier threes? Y'all, y'all go, y'all go. This is what you asked for. Y'all asked for it, bro. All of you, single one of you guys. They were like, oh, they look like the Almonir Jordan 3s. There you go. I'm blaming every single one of you guys. The Muslims? Where's the Red Thunders? Where's the Black Militaries? Where's... What else dropped this month or this year? Where's the Rebellionaires? Where's the Almonir Jordan 2s? The hell is going on? All right, let's go to number two. I'm really worried about the last two here. All right, I'm really worried about the last two. They put <laughs> they put one of the worst drops of 2022 at number two. Where the hell are the black militaries? Where are the Red Thunders at? I get it. Where are the Rebillionaires at? Rebillionaires are Red Thunders. Black militaries has to be number one. 
if Union. I'm so confused. What is going on, bro? Number, th I would not put Union 2 as number two. I'd rather put, I would put, I'd rather put the Jordan 1 Elevates. Where's Jordan? They might as well put the Jordan 1 Elevates on this damn list. Uh, shout out to Nitro. Thank you so much for the six months. This is so far. Uh, this is so far. Let's getting updated later this year. Oh, I'm Homer Nitro. I'm 100% sure it is. Man. All right. We're going to number one. Here we go. I I'm really nervous about number one. Where's the Cardinal threes exactly? All right, here we go. No nervous. Number one. Uh, shout out to Dead Shutter. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. Muzzins are like the uh, Charlie Charler three hundred C fake rolls LMAO. Oh gosh, I don't know if I said that wrong. All right, sorry, Dead Shutter. Oh gosh, here we go. Uh, number one. Drum roll, please. Brrr. The Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown as number one. Um sure. That's how I feel about it. Sure. Uh, is it, he said Chrysler, my bad, Chrysler, my bad. Chrysler, my bad, Chrysler. I don't know why I read that wrong. Chrysler, my bad, Chrysler. <laughs> Chrysler. You made me, you threw me off. You threw me off on this number one. Um, number one. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. You guys let me know what is number one. Where the hell are the black militaries? Where the hell is the Red Thunders at? The Jordan 3 Cardinal 3s. Where the hell? Where's Amamanir Jordan 2s? Like, I would put that top 10. Um, what else dropped this year, Chat Jordan? Where the hell? What would you guys put number one as Jordan of the year? Jordan of the year. Jordan the year so far that's released this year. What would you guys put up there? Uh, shout out to uh, D. Michelle. Thanks so much for ringing up for five months. Whoever made this list needs to disappear to Mars. Facts. Like, Red Thunders, Black Militaries. But this is your number one right here, chat. Where's your DB? Yeah, Dornbecker, five lows. Those were nice. They missed a lot of sneakers, absolutely, for real. They did. Patent breads, well, technically, patent breads released last year, but they just restocked this year. So I don't know if you want to count. Uh, I don't know if you want to count the Jordan 1 patent breads. They just restocked on the Flex app. That's all we got. But patent breads technically released last year. Uh, Travis Air Max 1. Well, that's not a Jordan. We're talking about Jordan-wise, Mr. Exclusive. Jordan-wise. Yeah, Rui 8s. Yes, thank you so much, Hannibal. Rui 8s were really, really nice. What happened to the Rui 8s? They didn't put Rui 8s on that list. The Rui 8s, those were really nice. The Rui 8s were absolutely freaking nice. Uh, Lightning 4s dropped this year. No, Lightning 4s released last year, I think. No, uh, Lightning 4s released last year. Um, Man, this list was trash. I'm sorry. They missed the Red Thunders. They missed the Black Militaries. In my personal opinion, by far, I would say number one. I would say number one. with When it comes to, like, Jordan-wise, I really like the Red Thunders. I'm sorry. Red Thunders were nice. Uh, Chili Red Nines. Dude, if Brotherhoods were on this list, I was going to end the stream, bro. I'm playing. Brotherhoods were still nice, though. 
Edwin, thank you so much for ringing up for uh, one month. Edwin, welcome to the collection family. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate it, Edwin. Thank you. Uh, brotherhoods are not too bad, dude. I choose the brotherhoods over these. I just don't get right here. They, I lost it from here. I lost it from here. I lost it. I don't get it. Maybe they just put the, uh, the 36s up there just to hype up the sneaker a bit. But it's definitely, yeah, I would agree. It's definitely an opinion, I'm sure. I feel like a lot of the OGs would definitely put the green beans in there. Uh, UNC 6s were really nice. Midnight Navy Blues are not too bad. Marina Blue 1s. I don't think I'd put Marina Blue in ones. I feel like I'd put like, I feel like I'd put number one, number 10, probably the Jordan 3s. I need to come up with my own list, to be honest, and let you guys know how you guys feel about my list, man. Good morning, Cody. What's good? But that's your top 10. But I, I'm pretty sure they'll update this later this year. But, I mean, this is, this is their list, okay? This is their list, their own opinion. But I don't know. Um. Truth, the Muslims are uh, the Muslims are fire. The Muslims are nice, but I wouldn't put it. I just wouldn't put the Muslims at number three. That's just me. For me, I like. I would put number one, Red Thunders. Um, I feel like a lot of people would put Black Militaries as number two. Um, I I think I like the Cardinal threes. To be honest, I really do like the Cardinal threes. Seventy two and tens restock though. Uh, seventy two. What we have the 72 and 10 Jordan 11 lows, those were a sleeper. I think those 11 lows were really, really nice. Uh, top 10 bricks, maybe these are top 10 bricks. I don't know. I don't think they would consider top 10 bricks, but I don't know. Maybe I'll give you guys my top 10 Jordans of the year. I would put Rebellionaires on my top 10 for sure. Rebellionaires are nice, Cardinal threes are nice too. Uh, I would put Rebellionaires as around roughly, I don't know. I think I would put Rebellionaires at maybe number five or six, maybe. I think the I think the Cardinal Threes are fire. I put I put my Cardinal Threes like low key top top five. I don't know. There's so many Jordans that's released so far this year. I, I like the Rui eights. I think the Rui eights were really, really underrated this year. Uh, Rui 8s are really, really nice. If you guys see the Rui 8s in person, I think a lot of you guys would be a huge fan of them. Uh, playoff 12s, I feel like a lot of OGs would put uh, playoff 12s as number 5. I think playoff 12s are nice. I just sold my Onyx uh, foam runners and ended putting a little with it and copying the Amamanir, uh Jordan 1s for resale. What do you think about that swap, Rafi? That's not too bad, bro. Uh, what site releasing the Dunk Highs? Nike app, bro. Nike app. The Nike app is releasing the Dunk Highs, bro. Uh, Rebellionaires top five. Well, the only Jordans that released this year that I've copped so far, like GR wise, like I have, I have the Elevates in my collection. I have, um, let's see what we got so far. We got Rebellionaires. I, I, uh, I copped the restock of the Pat Bread. I got the Red Thunders, and I got Amamanir Jordan 2s. I'd put, I mean, and then I have the uh, the Rattan colorway on the Union LA. So I feel like Union LA would be my top 10. I would put Amamanir up there as well as top 10. Um, but, man, they're missing out a lot of shoes this year for sure. Uh, I think stock numbers, let me see. I think stock numbers are on Discord. If you guys need stock numbers. Stock numbers for the Jordan 9s are 39,000. They're stock numbers for you. 39,000 for the uh for the uh for the 9s. I'm not sure what stock numbers for the uh for the dunks. I'm not sure. But dunks are dropping on Nike. What up Chanel? Who wrote the article? I don't know. Who wrote the article? Let's see. Who who did write write the article? I don't know. Do they show who writes the article? By Brendan Dunn. Who's that? I mean, this is written by Brandon, Riley Jones, Ben, Felder, uh, Felderstein, Zach, Matt, and Mike. There was like one. This was, dude, this was June 2nd. This was made June 2nd, chat. June 2nd. June 2nd. So that's very recent. 
That's like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Someone said some idiot wrote it. <laughs> Ew. Uh, he, he's about to get roasted. Brotherhoods get no love. I think brotherhoods are nice, too. I, I think brotherhoods are really, really nice. Uh, Brendan's done. <laughs> um, uh, Don, a legend, you respect on his name. I don't know if you want to put respect on the, the list, but I mean, like I said, it's it's totally up to you, right? I feel like at the end of the day, it's their own opinion, their list. I mean, we, we can, you guys can make your own list and like, uh, you know, send it to me, see, you, see, we, uh, see how we feel about your list. But other than that, this is just a list based off opinion. You know what I mean? This is a list based off opinion. Uh, he wears a dad short shoes. Oh, gosh. He's part of the full size run. Hold on. Is it really him? Yeah, it is him. I get it. I get it, chat. I get it. This, yeah, this is him. Brandon Dunn. Riley Jones. Uh, Ben. I don't know who these people are, to be honest. I really don't. But these are basically the people that put this list together. Uh, there's nothing wrong with dad shoes at all. Nothing people seeing on the, uh, the Racer Blue Fives. Did the Racer Blue Fives release this year? I'm not 100% sure. But I get it. Number one, Georgetown Highs. I could, I could see put, I could see people putting Georgetown Highs as number one. But we kind of, we kind of talked roughly, like, shortly about the, like, top 10 or sneaker of the year. Um, like, out of all sneakers, that's probably going to be dropping this year. And I, my personal opinion, chat. I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. I feel like from here on out, I feel like the Chicago ones reimagines are going to be sneaker of the year. I think it's, it's dude. I feel like when Georgetown highs drop, bro, that shit's going to be a freaking problem, man. Like that's going to be tough to cop, bro. Like the George, uh, excuse me, the Jordan one highs, uh, reimagine Chicago's that right there is going to be your sneaker of the year. I feel like people are going to put the reverse Mocha Jordan 1 a uh, Lowe's Travis's as number two as sneaker of the year. Um, I, I could see what people are going to put as sneaker of the year for sure. I think Chicago 1's hands down. I don't care what anyone says. I think Jordan 1 reimagined Chicago is going to be sneaker of the year. Just wait once that sneaker. And plus the fact that they're dropping right at like what? They're dropping it at like a day before Halloween. Oh, man, dude. It's getting close to like the winter season and like everyone's going to start. Oh man, I'm telling you, bro, that Jordan one, once we get to a live cop, I'm going to tell you guys, I told you so. You guys going to tell me I told you. Yeah, you were right, Rafi. Like Jordan one Chicago's are going to be a crazy. It's going to be probably the craziest drop of 2022. Hands down, bro. We're, well, regardless, I mean, we got Yeezy day, but still like when it comes to like GR Jordan ones. Chicago's are going to do crazy, crazy uh, numbers, man. Um, on the Zen Master 4s there. Well, the thing is, the Zen Master is only released in EU. That's the only, that's the only downside about the, uh, the Zen Masters. The Zen Masters are nice. They're okay, but um, they only dropped in the EU. It's an Air Jordan 1, not comfy. It, that's not the whole point, Toby. That's not the whole point. The whole point is it's the Chicago colorway. Like the last, when was the last time they released the Chicago colorway? I mean, it's the reimagined. Um, I like the way that they implemented the the reimagined look. Um, sure, but at the end of the day, it's a Chicago, it's a Chicago colorway. People are gonna go crazy over it. We haven't got that sneaker since what 2015 or something like that. So people are gonna go crazy over it. Uh, if the Amumanir drops the fours, it could be the sneaker of the year. I don't think I don't think Amo Manier can top. I don't think Amo Manier can top Jordan One Chicago, bro. Ain't nothing, bro. I'm gonna say if they do drop the Amo Manier Jordan Four, it's gonna go Chicago Ones. It's gonna go Reverse Mochas Travis's as number two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Amo Manier Jordan Four up there because I feel like a lot of people are gonna get hyped over the Amo Manier Jordan Four. Um, number four, I feel like Union Dunk Pistachio is gonna be in there. As sneaker of the year for top five and number five. As number five, I'm still going to show a lot of love to Yeezy. 
And I feel like if they do do a restock, like a GR restock on the on the turtle doves or the red stripes, I I in my personal opinion, I'll put that up there as top five. Like I am a Yeezy fan, and like I fell in love with like the Yeezys when they first dropped, when it when the Adidas first dropped. But I would say, as an OG fan of Yeezys, I would definitely put Turtle Doves up there as top five. If there's nothing else that could top that, if that makes sense. Because I got to show a little bit of love of Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Yeezy definitely dropped a lot of good heat this year. Dazzling Blues are nice. I would definitely put that on my top 10 as Sneaker of the Year. Um, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. We shall see. But... um. I think at the end of the day, like it's just based off your own list. Uh, but there's a lot of heat that definitely dropped this year for sure. Um, that black and Fred Yeezy restock would be insane. Yeah, bro, for real. Georgetown sitting in my closet, DS size 10 and a half. There you go. Uh, Dark Iris 3s and the uh, Kenyan 4s will be top six. Ah, I don't know about that, uh, D. Michelle. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Uh, Wave Runner is the best Adidas Yeezy. Well, it's because they restock it. I'm just talking about like colorways that we haven't seen in a long time. I mean, I feel like Wave Runners restock almost every single year. Um, but I don't know. So far, if I would look at everything that's dropping, I would say number one, Chicago's number two, number two, Travis Scott twos, uh, Travis Scott one lows, reverse mochas, number three, Amma Muneer, sure, number four, Dunk Pistachio Union. And number five, I've put turtle doves up there. Uh, Military black, the best Jordan sneaker of the drop uh, so far this year. Uh, I'm going to four as well. Second half of the year is fire. It really is. Yeah, I'm telling you, like someone said in the chat, I think it was like D got juice. He said, oh, uh, when it, uh, July, August and up to September is looking trash. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? July is stacked, bro. If you guys look at the list for July, dude, July is freaking stacked. Stacked, if you guys ask me, dude. July is absolutely freaking stacked. I, I like how how July is looking like. Uh, Salutes from Sugarland, Texas. What up? I uh, appreciate it, Jess. Thank you so much for uh, pulling up. Uh, Tom Sachs created my uh, shipping label June 16th uh, with no movement since um, for my craft studio tee. Unless a Jordan off-white drops. That's true, too. Well, it just depends if... um. If off white drops, you know, a good silhouette, you know, depends on what they drop. You know, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put these off white mids um, in my top in my top 10. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put uh, what's it called? The Blazers in my top 10. I wouldn't put those. Can't wait for the uh, for the Chicago's. I'll sell everything for five pairs. Dude, you know what I want? What I really want really bad. I need the reverse Travis Scott mochas. I'm sorry. I, I I need them in my collection. I've been telling people that I really want the mochas, uh, reverse mochas in my sneaker collection. That is one shoe that I will not pass on. Um, that is a hundred percent gonna be on my uh in my must cop list this year, twenty twenty two. Is uh reverse mochas. I think the brown Travis Air Max should be uh should be on the list. Um. To be honest, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. Mocha Air Maxes or whatever Air Maxes Travis Scott's, in my personal opinion, I kind of like. I slightly like the con the concept Air Max is a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. Jackie Robinsons, dude. Jackie Robinsons haven't released yet. If Jackie Robinsons released, the, if Jackie Robinsons released this year, I'd consider that putting that on my top top five. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, morning, buddy. You going for anything this morning, buddy? Um, I don't know if I'm going for anything this morning, buddy. I'm not sure, man. Uh, this may not be a Jordan, but I like the Air Force One chocolate that just released. There you go. Travis Mocha, Chicago Reimagined, I'm a Manier Fours, SB um, Fours. So many great shoes on the way. I thought I thought um, uh, SB Fours are next year, I think. Jordan 4 SBs. I think that's next year. Do a list without collaborations. Do a list without collaborations. That's that would be kind of easy. Um, I mean, still Chicago ones would be number one. That's not a collaboration. 
Uh, I feel like Georgetown would still still be on that top five when it comes to non collaborating uh, sneakers. Um, Black Militaries, Red Thunder Fours um, would be on that top five list. And I don't know. If, I don't think Rebillionaires was a uh, collaboration. I, I don't think it was. Uh, any thoughts on the Jordan 9s? Uh, Jordan 9s are okay. I'm not a Jordan 9 fan like that, but they're all right. Why is nobody saying uh, Fire Red 3s? Uh, Fire Red 3s are nice. Yeah, we're still waiting on Fire Red 3s. Supposedly, they're supposed to drop in August. But if if Jordan 3s, Fire Red 3s drop, I'm definitely copping. I think that's a must cop for sure. The Red Thunders, uh, excuse me, uh, Fire Red 3s, must cop. Uh, what about the yellow toes? Yellow toes are okay. I feel like they came out with so many yellow shoes. It's like, I feel like they're, I don't know. I don't think they're overdoing it. Uh, but the yellow toes are nice, but I'm not crazy over the yellow toes. Um, I just have, I, maybe because I already have pollens and I have the, you know, the lightning fours. So I don't need, I need, I don't need all these yellow sneakers in my sneaker collection. Uh, how do you like the, uh, the dark iris threes? Are you talking about the purple and white threes? I like them a lot. They're must cops. If you're talking about the the purple threes, I like them. Um, what brand of crew socks do you wear lately? I've been wearing a lot of Target. I wear Target socks, bro. From Target, Desert Elephant threes about to about to be some uh be the best. Chicago twos, yeah. Chicago twos. But the thing is, you gotta realize no one really wears a lot of Jordan twos like that, man. Like. I don't want to hype Jordan 2s like that because there's so many Jordan 2s that's released this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, like, Jordan 2 Chicago's are restocking or re-retroing this year. Sure, cool, but, like, I'm not trying to overhype Jordan 2s at all because I wore my rattan colorway, the Union, and they're okay. But now that I put them on feet, uh, I traded my heavies for the Rebellionaires, and I'm happy about it. You talking about the concept? Uh, Air Maxes, you know, that's a pretty good trade. That's a really, really good trade. I have yet broken out my Rebellionaires, to be honest. I have yet broken out. And I'm going to show you guys what my two-go shoe is right now. Uh, black Canvas 4s, I'm not a big fan. I feel like they messed up with putting canvases. This is my two-go sneaker right here. The Joe Fresh Goods. I think the Joe Fresh Goods are really, really clean. These are fire, bro. I would love to have a second pair of these because I've been wearing this so many times. Like, the canvas is already kind of dirty. Uh, but these ones right here are freaking fire, bro. If you guys don't have a pair of Joe Fresh Good 550s, dude, very, very comfortable. A very, very comfortable shoe. Like, I have two pairs of 550s, um, and these ones are absolutely freaking comfortable. Are the Air Maxes? Okay, yeah, that's a good trade, Chanel. I would definitely do that trade, hands down. No questions asked. So far, that's my favorite New Balance that released this year. Uh, the Joe Fresh Good 550s. Uh, when do your Paisleys come in? I'm not sure when they come in. They come in sometime this week. I'm not, I'm not sure when. Uh, if you're talking about my orange Paisleys, I think they should be coming in this week. Uh, I haven't worn my uh, Joe Fresh Good 550s. I feel like if, once you put them in hand, I feel like you'll, uh, or, or on feet, I think you'll like them, Chanel. They're really comfortable. Uh, did you enter for the LED 550s? ALD? I did not. I did not. Uh, Rafi, how do you feel about the uh, new age look right now? The new age look? What do you mean? Like the, uh, the like how uh, some sneakers are dropping like with off-white soles and stuff like that? Like cream soles? Um, I don't know if you answer this, but do y'all wear uh, crease protectors? I personally don't. Like I used to. I used to wear crease protectors on a lot of my Jordan 1s. But I don't really care to wear them, to be honest. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Like, I don't wear crease protectors. But I know some people do on certain shoes. Uh, the black infrared fours look great on feet. I'm loving them. I, I done worn on twice and get the compliments already. Okay. Rafi, my toms are out for delivery. There you go, Ked. Did we uh, tell people about the Discord monitors? Um, I kind of brought it up. I kind of brought it up. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not sure when it's going to get implemented, hopefully by July, but I kind of brought it up to see how people feel about it. Uh, what up, Parham? Uh, let's see. I'm going for the ALDs. There you go. Grand Rising Rapper from the VA doing my 15 minute support. What's up for today? 
Uh, so basically, we kind of went through the top 10 list uh, Jordans so far that released this year from Complex News. Uh, unions are dropping at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And we got dunk highs that are going to be dropping at 10 a.m. EST. So these dunks are dropping at 11 Eastern Time or 10 Eastern Time. I'm not sure if anyone in here is going for dunks, uh, pandas, but panda dunks are dropping. Dunk highs are dropping this uh, this morning. Just uh, FYI. Uh, my toms are out for delivery, and I sold them uh, this morning also. There you go. Is it worth to rack up points on the general uh, the generation app? I don't, I don't even have that app. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I don't, I don't have that app at all. I'm sorry, but I really don't have that app at all. StockX refunded me my Amma Manier ones. Uh, somebody uh, brought in a fake pair and got rejected. Nobody wanted to take my... I bid, so I'm gonna have to uh, rebid and pay like sixteen dollars extra, but it's whatever. Damn, bro, that sucks, bro. See, that's the shitty. That's the shitty part about like, you know, situations with StockX and Goat. You will get in those type of situations, which is, which is, which kind of sucks. Um, I got a W on confirm yesterday. Didn't even realize till I got home from work. There you go, Wentz. That's what's nice about. That is absolutely nice about. Um, what's it called? That is what's nice about the confirmed app because you could sign up and just go to sleep and not realize that you could actually cop on the confirmed app because it will just notify you randomly. Shout out to Rafi. You're, uh, you're devoted watching y'all hit that like button. I appreciate it, man. Make sure you guys run it up to 200 likes if you guys don't mind. I greatly appreciate you guys uh, coming through. Make sure you guys run it up real quick for your boy here at Rafi Collection, man. I appreciate you guys enjoying the vibes here. Uh, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, but we're on the road to 42,000 subscribers, man. We just hit 41.2, so we're getting really, really close to 42, man. Run it up real quick for your boy. Um, yeah, facts. At least he didn't get the fake. Facts, man. I got my Onyx pair yesterday on accident. I thought I, uh, I thought I, uh, unentered. Oh, damn, that would have sucked. I am passing today's and trying to my luck tomorrow. I feel like now that Panda Dot... Panda Dunk highs are dropping this month. Uh, now that they dropped today, I wonder if they're going to drop the Panda Dunk lows tomorrow, bro. I have a feeling, low key. I have a low key feeling they're going to be dropping like some Dunk lows. Pandas tomorrow. Good morning, Rafi and Collection family. Let's smash that like button. Show some love. What up, Big Josh? What's good? Uh, Apple Bay on Hibbit Sports. Yes, sir. Is goaded. Uh, confirmed did not like me yesterday. I passed on the bone. Oh, the Onyx colorway is nice, but I low-key like the bone colorway over the Onyx now. I don't know. I, you can't go wrong with an all-white sneaker. Um, passing on Union today. Yeah, I, me personally, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm passing on Union today, too. Rafi, those uh, black and white dunks, uh, not pandas, uh, big difference in value and resale value. It's, it's a panda dunk, bro. It's black and white. I, who cares? That's the same thing. That's the same thing with panda dunk lows, bro. The same thing with panda dunk lows. You search it up, bro. It's 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 actually considered black and white dunk lows, not pandas. We just call it pandas because pandas are black and is it's black and white. So it's a panda dunk high, whatever. Hey, Raph, um Parker wants me to tell you that he loves your videos. He said uh, you're his favorite YouTuber. Shout outs to. Shout out to Parker. What up, Parker? I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, my buddy said the Nike Dunk High Pandas are a poor man's panda dunk, uh, dunk low. It's whatever, man. If you haven't hit on a, a black and white dunk, all right, it's your time to shine. It's a panda. Who cares? Panda dunk, black and white, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, can't sell dunk highs on, uh, uh, no one buys those bricks. I guess so. Um, uh, I got the, uh, bone Yeezy for me and my wife on JD lost, uh, lost on three devices on confirm. Oh no. At least you got them on, uh, JD sports, bro. Huge W on JD sports. Big Josh. All the longer, uh, on the longer feet, uh, fam size 12 and up and up, uh, Yeezy 350 boat <laughs> splitting on end. What are your thoughts on the mid Air Force One off whites? They're okay. They're all right. I'm not, I wouldn't buy them for the personal, me personally. Anybody going for the Jordan 9s today? I don't know if anyone's going for the Jordan 9s today. 
I mean, you guys, let me in though in the chat. Is anybody going for the Jordan Nines today? Or are you guys, are you guys um skipping off on that drop? Let me know in the comments. Is it is it a cop or a pass? Dropper, dropper, a copper drop on the Jordan Nines. What are these stock numbers? Uh stock numbers for the Jordan Nines is 39,000. Stock numbers for the Jordan 9s are 39,700. So if anyone was wondering about stock numbers for the 9s, 39,000. Uh, yes, I want the 9s. No pass. Passing on the 9s, on the Js. Drop. Yeah, I feel like majority of everybody is going to go for the Cortezes this morning. Cortezes or Dunks, in my personal opinion. Thoughts on the Supreme Nikes? Um, are they dropping some shocks? They're dropping some uh, Nike shocks on Supreme on Thursday, right? I think that's what's dropping on Supreme. Uh, passing on everything this morning. Yeah, yeah, same here, bro. I'm here for you guys, bro. 116,000 on men's dunks. 116,000 on stock numbers on men's dunks, according to Romy P. Dude, I don't believe on stock numbers at all when it comes to Panda Dunks, dude. For real. Panda dunk sometimes be capping, bro. Dude, I got a big ass forehead. I'm not gonna lie. I got a haircut yesterday. Dude, my forehead is fucking what? Four, five, six head. That's what it looks like. God damn. My forehead looking big as hell. Uh 116k and it's still an L. <laughs> uh, I'm just here unless something shock drops. Yeah, I feel it. Uh, our men's and women's dunk highs dropped today. Yep, men's and women's, bro. If you need the link to dunks, here it is. If you need links to dunks, here it is. Uh, seven head easy. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> Yo, I got a haircut yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I changed my freaking nose piercing yesterday. And like, I put this one back on because I didn't like how the, uh, the hoop looked on, on me. I put a hoop. I put a hoop on my nose ring and I didn't like it. One thing, one thing, it was uncomfortable because I was always itching and, you know, I was trying to dig up my nose, but I just couldn't. Uh, your head is little. Well, never mind. Um, uh, 116K, someone is putting in overtime. Dude, that's a lot of freaking pairs. 116,000. 116,000. I don't, I, I don't know if that's split up with uh, women's and men's. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if that's split in men's and women's. I'm not sure. Um, take off the hat, Rafi. Dude, I told you, I have a big forehead. Like, literally, my entire... My entire hand could fit my forehead. Well, kind of, not my thumb. But my head, my, my hand. You guys, you guys need to get your head out of the gutter, bro. You going for the dunks? Mm, probably not. Don't Michael Jordan still got the hoop earring in? I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys need to get your mind out of the gutter, bro. Uh, I just want to see the Nike warehouse. Uh, how? Yo, bro, go to Memphis. Go to Memphis, bro. Go to Memphis. Rafi sleeps with a hat on. Bro, don't tell them my secret, Brian. Brian, don't tell them my secret. Don't tell anybody, bro. I sleep with a hat on. Don't tell anybody. The retail is $130 for union, right? Yeah, it's going to be $130, roughly around $150 after tax and shipping. Uh, Cortezes are going to be dropping at 11 a.m. EST, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Rafi, go for a size 9.5 for, uh, uh, for May personal size. What? May personal size? It got to... Oh my gosh. Yo, yo, chill. $130 retails. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure it's going to be roughly around, what, $150 after tax and shipping. Oh, uh, damn, those warehouse workers putting in work. I don't even think it's the warehouse workers, I mean, putting in that work. I mean, yeah, they got to ship out these shoes out, but I'm just wondering. I'm just, the thing is, uh, what I'm wondering, chat, is I'm wondering how many people that they like how people get that type of job like oh where do you work oh i i, I work at the uh memphis warehouse for nike like how the hell do you get a job like that 
I mean, sure, you could look up online, but I feel like you got to know someone to know somebody that actually works there that you could actually get a job. I feel like even working for like Nike, like Nike warehouse, you're like, it's like high security where like you're not allowed to have camera phones. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, if you want to work at our warehouse, you're not allowed to have you're not allowed to have a camera phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Union mess, messing up the Cortezes. I think they definitely messed it up. Too. I think they messed up the uh, the colorway. Um, but no. I, I mean, I've had a couple people hit me up on IG. Be like, yo, Rafi, I work at the Nike warehouse. But it's like, I don't know how I could believe that, to be honest. You know? Because you rarely know anyone that works at a, like a warehouse for Nike. You know? It's uh, it's not what you know. It's who you know exactly. Nowadays, it's how it's who you know for sure. Yeah, I'm telling. I've told people, clout. Some people rather have clout than money, dude. Clout is more powerful than money, if, if that makes sense. Nowadays, it's who you know for sure, bro. It's it's who you know for sure. Nowadays, bro, it ain't nobody care how much money you have. It's how much clout you have. It's just how it is, bro. People will notice you. People will like you because of how much clout you have. Like uh, it's just how it is. It is just as I grow on this in the community, like in the sneaker community. Obviously, this big these bigger brands and want to sponsor me now that they see me grow. But dude, clout is scary, bro. Cl having all that clout is scary, bro. Who it's who you blow, <laughs> Michael. I guess so, bro. I heard Cholo gangs in the LA Green Lighting Union for these uh, sweet fruity uh, looking Con our Cortezes. I guess so, bro. If you if you want to put it that way, um, will these resell? Um, I don't know. I'm not a reseller like that, bro. I, I'm not. I am not a reseller like that. I guess if you want to, um, if you want to start off your reselling business, I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch Cortezes. I would consider maybe these Panda Dunk highs. But if anyone's a reseller in here, would you buy? If you're a new reseller, if you're, oh, hold on, excuse me, let me rewind real quick. If you're an experienced reseller in this chat right now, and if you would want to give someone that is an upcoming reseller, would you give them the advice and tell them to buy these Dunk High Pandas? Yes or no? Okay? Because me personally, I feel like you can make, a, a, you know, somewhat money out of these Dunk Highs depending of your clientele. Um, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, yeah, I, I even said that from the jump, man. If you're going to buy the Cortezes, only buy it for the personal. All right? Only buy it for the personal. No. Hell no. Nah. I guess it depends on your clientele. If you have good clientele and if you have people that are willing to pay the price, I feel like you could move them. But I just feel like pandas in general... I'm going to say this, pandas in general are just oversaturated in the market, man. It's like Panda Dunk Highs, I feel like, or even Panda Dunk Lows, I feel like resellers are only buying for the low, like 150 maybe. But I don't know. Uh, probably a little over retail, unless you have buyers already. No. Skip on the Dunks, fam. They are not pandas. They're pandas, bro. Panda Dunk Highs. I don't care what you say, Juan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Panda Dunk Highs. And whether if you like it or not, whether how cringy I sound like, it's pandas, bro. It's black and white. All right? If we're calling, if we're calling the Panda Dunk Lows pandas, we're going to call these high tops pandas because it's the same exact colorway. It has the Nike, it has red Nike logo, but it's still, it's still a panda. Uh, depends on the area and the customer. You can cut the highs to make them uh, lows. <laughs> God. If Panda lows drop tomorrow, I'd be down bad sitting on a size 12 to sell. Well, I don't even know where pandas are at on resale value, to be honest. How much are, how much are, uh, resellers, how much you resellers selling the Panda Dunk lows for? I don't even know. Dunk lows, pandas, black and white. Look. White and black panda. See, they're still calling it pandas. Black, white and black, black and white pandas, whatever. Uh, last sale was 186. So still roughly 180. The unbrickables. The unbrickables. 
Bigger size are doing roughly around 200. You can still make like easily a hundred bucks. Easily a hundred bucks, bro. Easily, easily. If you go to like a sneaker convention, I feel like you could still get away. Like even though StockX says $180, people still sell the pandas for a hundred or two hundred dollars, bro. That's just my personal opinion. I still what are the what do we call the unbreakable dunk lows? The unbreakable, the unbreakable, excuse me, the unbreakable dunk lows. That's what we're going to call them. The unbreakable. Uh, why can't we, uh, can't, why can't we, do, they can be called skunks. I mean, they have the dunk high skunks already, but they're purple and green. But a skunk is black and white. Uh, dunk highs are going for $250 to $300. Okay. Let's look at it. Okay, let's look at it. As want me to search up dunk high. Black and white. Panda. Well, I saw a panda there. Panda. Woman's panda. Last sale was 162. Yeah, these are not doing anything, bro. Bigger sizes are doing pretty well, but smaller sizes are basically retail. Like, after tax and shipping, like, yeah, they're not doing crazy. What's retail on these? 110? 110, I think. 115. So, they're basically, like, they're, these ones are going basically going for retail. Basically going for retail. Um, yeah, well, we already know bigger sizes go for more. Bigger size absolutely goes for more. Bigger sizes go for way more. Um, dunk highs, 116,000. There's your stock numbers for you guys for the dunk highs. 116,801. Dude, that's a lot of pairs, bro. If you're going to, if you're going for the dunks this morning, it should be an easy cop. If you're going for the dunks. They're an easy cop. Link for the Cortezes. It's going to be on Union. Union is going to be dropping at 11 a.m. Eastern time. All right. I'm going to type it into the chat. So everyone want to 11 a.m. EST. Uh, Union Cortez. Here's the link. Uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Union Cortez. I'm going to pin the comment. No more pandas. You guys are tired of pandas already, bro? You guys are already tired of pandas or what? I don't think there's any, I don't think there's much difference between men's and women's, to be honest. It says sold out in men's, but it says coming soon in women's. Sold the pandas in Canada. There you go. Never say uh, dunks, never say uh, easy, no matter how many, how many pairs. Dude, it's the watch this shit still sell out, bro. Ha keyword should be easy. <laughs> if the stock numbers okay if the stock numbers are right it should be easy if the stock numbers are absolutely correct it should be an easy cop i guess whatever it should be an easy cop if it's if it, if the stock numbers are correct all right um what place are they dropping the the shoes i'm not sure but make sure you guys run it up if you guys don't mind uh, who's going to be my 200 like in the chat? We have over 640 of you guys in the building. Uh, and if you guys are new here as well, uh, make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel. All right. I appreciate you guys. Um, They're going to sell out. Oh, most likely, bro. I think they're going to sell out too. I think these dunks are going to sell out. Uh, Should sell out within an hour. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if these dunks like sell out within like two minutes, bro. Everything sells out for real. Everything sells out. Sold my dunks UNC size nine for three hundred sixty dollars. There you go, Drew. Uh, return them if you can't resell. Oh gosh, dude, just buy them for the toe. Buy them for the toe, chap. I have an extra pair of UNC Dunk size nine. We'll sell it for uh, three hundred fifty dollars. Sheesh! Damn! If you hit for retail, that's a huge W. 
Manifest the W on the Jordy 9, size 13. I think the Jordan 9s are a Leo drop, no? Shout out to Bob! <laughs> That's Bob for the $2 donation. He says, hi. Hi, Bob. What up, Bob? What's good, bro? How you doing, man? What is happening? Uh, what, what was I just going to do? Okay, go on sneakers app. I think it's a Leo drop this morning for the 9s, if I'm not mistaken. For the 9s, I think they're a Leo drop. Let me double check here real quick. The 9s? Jordan 9s? My phone is tweaking. Uh, getting my Paisley Dunks today. Can't wait to have them in my hands. There you go. Congrats on your W. It's a draw on the nines. Okay, it's a draw. Wow. I'm surprised it's not a Leo drop. I'm surprised it's not a Leo drop. It is a draw. Wow. A draw. Nope, a draw. Okay. Shout out to the chat. I appreciate you guys letting me know because I didn't know because my freaking phone was tweaking, bro. Uh, go for your size for resale, boys. That way folks who, who want to hit, hit. Uh, tired waiting for my shoes and hats to be delivered today. There you go, Bob. Dude, that's such a good feeling when you get like shoes and uh, when you get just packages in general uh, coming in the mail. Dude, that's such a good feeling, to be honest. A really good feeling. In a feeling. Ooh -hoo. Uh, yo, Ravi, just got the off white fours and green apple. Let's be dunks. My wallet is crying. Dude, I'm saying, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I need those green apple SBs. I think when I get my Toms in, I think I'm going to bring that to SneakerCon Vegas. And then I'm going to use that, as, use that as trade bait. My Toms, I'm going to use that as trade bait, bro. I think that'd be a really good shoe to use as trade bait. Um, Ravi, your vibes are always dope. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate that, Juan. Appreciate it. Band is just sold out, man. Um, yeah, the men's, for some reason, it says sold out for some reason. I don't know why. Men's pandas, it says sold out, but the woman's, it says it's coming soon. So I don't know what's going on when on Nike's end. I'm not sure what's going on. Waiting for the uh, Shadow Ones to come in, uh, scheduled for Thursday. There you go, PI Soulfly. I bought three of the uh, fruit packs so far. Dude, the green apples is the only one that I need, bro. Green apples are the only ones that I need. Uh, Rafi, ever have issues with SNS? I haven't received my email confirmation. The only thing that I have trouble... Uh, the only issue that I have with SNS that I can't hit. That's the only issue that I have with SNS that I can't hit. I've never hit. I've never hit on SNS. Rafi, I heard pandas at 10 a.m. There's Jose. Yo, Jose, there he is. Rafi, I heard pandas at 10 a.m. There you go. It's your it's your day to shine, Jose. You're absolutely correct. Panda dunks at 10 a.m. You're absolutely correct today, Jose. You finally got your moment. Panda Dunk Highs, Pandas, at 10 a.m. EST. And it's going to be dropping in roughly about 20 more minutes. You are absolutely correct, bro. Yeah, YMCA shipped my, uh, YCMC drop, uh, shipped my uh, high res from the UK in three days. There we go. That's fast shipping for, uh, for it coming from the UK. Uh, I got some uh, British khaki Travis Scott's coming in. There we go. Any dunks are easy to sell because uh, a lot of people still want them. No matter the colorway, I think you're correct too. I mean, it depends on the size too, bro. Um, Jose is the panda king. Yeah, he really is, bro. I'm telling you, Jose comes in and he says, "Yo, Rafi, I heard pandas are dropping at 10 a.m. EST." Yeah, but he was never specific whether if it was lows or highs. He'll just say panda dunks. That that's all he would say. What up, Kevin? What's good? Opinions on the new Supreme Nike shocks? Um, I'm not a shock guy. I guess we could put it that way. I'm not a shock guy. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. It's it's whatever. I just Supreme whatever. I guess whatever Supreme touches, everyone wants. I guess I don't know. Opinions on the new Supreme, but like I said, I'm not going for the Supreme this year. Uh, the rest of the year, I don't know if I'm going for any Supreme unless they will drop a box. I'll go and I'll consider. Uh, military Jordans, uh, dropped in Hibbets. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, unless there will be a shock drop on Hibbet Sports, but I'm not 100% sure. Hibbet Sports be clutched, I heard, when it comes to restock. I still, I'm still looking for a pair of, uh, Jordan 4 Military Blacks, um, in my size. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see them. I don't know if they'll restock this morning. We'll see. Um... If there's any restocks on Jordans, where does it pop up at? 
Like, if, say, if, like, the shock drop, a Jordan, or like, a Jordan 4, say, if they shock drop anything on Hibbets, where does it pop up at? Does anybody know? Uh, I wish I would have to appear on Apple SBs. Uh, pull up Nike Shoe Supreme on stream, please. I I'll pull it up soon. Hold on. Give me a second here. I'm not a Supreme guy anymore. Their limiting of everything has total, totally turned me against them. Uh, bones for sale yesterday. Cop the pair. I heard those, I heard bone colorways were easy to cop though. I heard they were easy to cop. Uh, did you cop the 350s? No, I skipped on the 350 V2s. I skipped on them. And I think what? Today is going to be uh, leftover day? Today is absolutely leftover day. Will the Dunk Highs uh, mean drop today? It says sold out on my side. I'm not sure. I see that as well. I see them sold out on my side, but I'm not sure why. Like men's. Men's, it says. Men's, it says sold out, but in women's, it says coming soon. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a glitch. I'm not 100% sure. But we have roughly about 20 more minutes, though. Um, but make sure you guys run it up though, if you guys don't mind. I appreciate you guys tapping in. Which do you, which do you like best, highs or low black and white dunks? I prefer low tops. I prefer low tops. I only have one pair of uh panda dunks in my collection. Only one pair. Only have the low tops. Only have the low tops. I am probably gonna try to cop a second pair of dunk lows, uh pandas. That's my goal. Dunk lows, that's my goal. Is it dunk lows pandas for a second pair this year? And like I sold all my personal pairs, that's why. I've sold all my personal pairs except one. I still have my personal pair. Uh yo, just woke up. Good morning, Rafi and Collection Family. What up, New York Dad? What's good, bro? How you doing? I appreciate you tapping in, my friend. I appreciate you tapping in. Hopefully everything is well. I seen that you figured out your stream. I seen that you figured out how to fix your stream. I think you fixed it, right? I think you fixed it. I seen that you did fix your uh your stream out. So now that you have desktop audio. Uh but I seen that your chat doesn't work though. Uh smart, a lot of people stuck uh with the confirmed W's that they didn't want. Well, it's a good way to get your alg algorithm going on the confirmed up, to be honest. It's a good way because once Easy Day comes rolling around, everyone's gonna be hitting. Uh morning Rafi, need that pan of dunk so I can have lows and highs. There you go, bro. Uh, you think the Tupac is still uh, alive? See the new price floating around? I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Dunk High sold already? Um, not yet, bro. They don't release until 10 a.m. East EST. They don't drop until another like 20 more minutes. So we still got like 20, roughly 20 more minutes until the drop. And then if anyone needs the link for Union LA, um, it's gonna be dropping at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and the link is pinned in the chat. But I'm telling you guys, um, Union will change. They'll have a domain change. They'll most likely will have like a password page that will pop up on Union uh, before the actual drop. So we'll have a new link for you guys. Mm. Hey, Rafi Jordan won a uh, low fan. I mean, I like the I like the OG cut more than the the actual the actual uh you know I like the OG cut versus like the Jordan cut. The new Jordan Cup, that makes sense. What a street, street sweeper in the building. What's good? What's good? What's good, you man? If anyone wants to join the Discord group, I got you guys. Give me a second here. If anyone wants to join the Discord group, here is the link. What the hell is that? Uh, here it is right here. Here's the Discord link if you guys want to join up. It's free 99 for the Discord link. There's the Discord. It is free for you guys to join. Uh, if you guys need stock numbers, we got stock numbers already loaded up on uh, Discord if you guys need it. So um, there you go. All right. Uh, what time is the union drop? 11 a.m. Eastern time. Look at the pin comment, Julio. Pin comment. Hibbits did have a couple of grade school sizes. Yeah, I did see that on Hibbit Sports. I need men's sizing, bro. I need men's sizing. Uh, where's the men dunks at? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, they're not, it says it's loaded up as sold out, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to change right at drop day or drop time. Um, I told you guys, even if I have the comment pinned, 
even if I have the comment pinned, whether if I have it pinned, even if I have it in the description, people are still going to be asking for the link or people are going to be asking what time the, the sneaker is going to be dropping. The union always drops on the union website. They always drop at 11 a.m. EST. They always drop at 11 Eastern time. Nothing has really changed. Nothing changed for, uh, for union drop. It's always been at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Always. So if anyone's in here asking what the time, it's going to be 11. Uh, men's pandas uh, push. They got pushed back. They got pushed back, but we still got a, over 100, 116K loaded up. So you're telling me that over 116K for women's sizing? That's crazy, bro. Uh, just cop the military blacks. There you go. Sneaker mommy. Sneaker mommy. Sneaker mom. Sneaker moms. Uh, took L's yesterday on the Yeezys. Did you cop anything yesterday, Raf? Nike out for the dunk clothes. Much are, uh, how much are these Cortezes? I didn't go for the Yeezys yesterday. I'm telling you guys this now. Like, I'm going for Yeezy Day. Like, I'm waiting around Yeezy Day. That's what I'm waiting around. Yeezy Day. And I'm just going to go for foam runners and slides all this year. Um, unless they drop, like, 350 V2s, red stripes, or, like, pro doves. That's the only thing I'm going to go for. Other than that, like, I'm going to wait till Yeezy Day. Uh, but Cortez's are retailed at $130. Okay? $130. $130 for the Cortezes. That's going to be retail-wise, I believe. After tax and shipping, it's probably going to be like, what? Uh, 150 Cop the Yeezy Onyx yesterday. Congrats. I want to see how many people that actually hit uh, yesterday. Let me double check. Because I didn't look at Sneaker W's yesterday because I wasn't on live. Sneaker W's. Yeah, there was a good amount of people that hit. Holy shit. Hold on, let's check this out. Yeah. A lot of people hit. Holy crap, dude. People cooked out on these 350 V2s. Jesus Christ. Sheesh. So many people freaking hit. Congratulations. There you go. Someone had said thank you and I didn't even do nothing. That is crazy. So many people hit. Look at that. And leftover days today, by the way. Leftover day is going to be today. Leftover day is today. Um, if anyone is, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some 350 V2 sitting at some of your areas. In on 350 Bones, congrats. Guys, I want to enter a raffle on the uh, ALDs, but I don't understand very well. They take, yeah, you'll have a pending charge, Thomas. I believe so. So they'll charge you, but it doesn't guarantee you a W, right? So say if you take an L, on the ALD website raffle for the 550s, they'll refund you that uh, they'll just have a pending charge. They'll have a pending charge on your account. Uh, is the Cortez worth going for? If you like them, then go for them for the personal, bro. Eric, go for them, go for them for the personal. I wouldn't touch these Cortezes if you're a reseller, in my personal opinion. I don't think these Cortezes are going to do very well for you if you're trying to resell. Um. Uh, I'm telling you, just save your money. You're good, man. Don't be pressured because everyone else is buying them, bro. All right? Don't be pressured because everyone's buying them. Uh, where's the Panda Dunk Highs? They're going to be on Nike app, bro. Nike app. Uh, any word on the infrared restock? I'm not sure, bro. I am not 100% sure. I hit both 350s and got level 4 after changing payment method. There we go, Cushy Soul. Now you're really you're really waiting uh for Yeezy Day. I'm excited for Yeezy Day. I don't care what anyone says. And it's going to be it's finally going to be really really hot here in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be roughly around the high 80s finally. So it's starting to get warm this week and I only work 3 days this week, which is really really cool. I got another 3 day weekend this weekend. So I'm really excited about it. Really excited about it. You copping the Jordan 9s, bro? No, I'm passing on the Jordan 9s, man. I am passing on the Jordan 9s. Black Cortez is the union exclusive. Yeah, it is. I think yeah, it, I think it is, right? The black the black colorway. Just know we most likely will see the Union Cortez drop on sneakers app. We most likely will. What up Rafi? Let's get uh some pandas facts, bro. Facts. I want some turtle doves. Oh, don't we all do? I still have my uh what, 2014 pair? Is I still have? Um, 
I have extra four infrared size nine and a half for 280 ship. There you go, Drew. The military four is supposed to restock, right? Happy Juneteenth. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping they uh I'm hoping they drop, bro. I'm really do. I need some black military fours. And I regret that is one shoe that I regret not going for is the black military fours. Uh this pink pair will definitely drop on sneakers. Uh what happens in the Nike Cortez Sakai's? I'm not sure, bro. Been on hold with Adidas for one hour. Uh, how many people work for them? One hour? Robert, what are you trying to do, bro? What are you trying to do with uh with your uh, with with Adidas? What happened? Let me know. You're on hold for a whole hour. When are we going to see your whole sneaker collection, bro? You see my whole sneaker collection every day. I have like over like seventy pairs of sneakers. I mean, I that's why I leave them behind me so you guys can see what's in my collection. Anybody want to go for my size nine on Thursday for the off white? Let me know. I need them for the toe. There you go, Rahus. You really like those mids, huh, Rahus? Those are okay. Uh, ALD raffles is spending charge. If you win, take the money out. If you lose, refund the money. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of want, I think I'm going to go for those 550s low key. I'm going to sign up today because I think today is the last day. If you want to sign up for the ALD uh, 550s, I think today is the last day, if I'm not mistaken. I think today is the last day. Uh, Jordan nines on feature, a few sizes left. Okay. I think uh, did undefeated drop these nines? Check. Give you guys a little favor here. Shop men's. I don't know if they drop. I don't. I don't know if they dropped the nines this morning. No. Yeah, I don't know if they dropped the nines on undefeated, unless they drop in a different time. Let me double check. Uh, Instagram, undefeated. They must, they must drop on a different time then. Oh, here it is. Uh, Jordan 9, blah, 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 dropping, available in stores. What time, though? They don't say a time. Oh, they dropped at 8, so they dropped at 5 a.m. That's trash. They dropped that 5 a.m. PST. Okay, so they already dropped. This is not bad. This is not bad of a colorway. This is not bad of a colorway, if you guys ask me, man. That's not bad of a colorway. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. I haven't been really paying attention to some of these nines because I'm not going for the nines. Not going for the nines at all. Hold on, let's see. I don't know if there's any links for any nines. They're dropping this uh snipes. Snipes is dropping this morning. I don't know if you guys want to go for snipes. Snipes is dropping the nines this morning. I'm not sure if they're dropping on finish line and JD Sports. Top in the morning, Raffy, my boy. What up, Kevin? What's good? They dropped on the black and um they never loaded up on their site. Uh the fire reds in November look better. Uh nines actually look nice. I'm not gonna lie, bro. These nines do look really nice, but I'm just not a Jordan 9 fan. That's the thing. Like, this is just I think the only Jordan 9 that I've ever had in my collection was the Jordan 9, um, uh, the Jordan 9 Lakers, the Laker ones, the white, purple, and yellow ones. And I got that shoe for like a hundred bucks, bro, because I was working at Champs at the time. And I got that shoe at a cheap price, at a very, very cheap price. Um, a DTLR app dropping, uh, dropping the nines. Okay. Shouts to you. Shouts to Parham. I'm not sure who else is dropping the nines. Maybe finish line JD Sports this morning, but I don't really have my eyes on the uh, on these nines. It is going to be a 10-minute draw on the sneakers app, just an FYI, if anyone was wondering. It is going to be a 10-minute draw. What the hell is that? Black and white, medium, olive, ISPA link? What is that, bro? This shit looks like a 350 V2. What is that? Whatever. Uh, but those are dropping this morning as well. Or actually tomorrow. Uh, ALD 550s worth going for? I think so, Eric. I think the 550s ALDs, I never hit on a pair, but I think I might go for them this morning. I'm going to go sign up for the raffle because I actually really like some of the colorways that are going to be dropping this morning. Uh, or not this morning, but um, I like the colorways that they're dropping. Detail our app, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Easy cop. Okay, shout out to Parham. I, got, I didn't know that DTLR had an app. I did not know. Uh, the Jordan 9's not bad, but I want to stage Haze ones more. 
Those are dropping when? July 2nd? I'm telling you guys, I'm just over this month, man. I'm just waiting for the Jordan 1 lows, right? Waiting for the Jordan 1 lows. These ones on June, June 30th. I'm definitely going for these ones. The Jordan 1 uh, bleach corals. What? Are these called bleach corals? I thought these were called like taupe something. Hell, uh, what the hell happened to the, uh, the, what the hell happened to the, um, the name? They're called bleach corals. What, wasn't it called like taupe something? What was these called again? They renamed the freaking Jordan 1. Stage Haze. That's what it was. Stage Haze. They renamed it to like bleach coral. That has to be an error, no? Because these Jordan 1 lows are called bleach coral. Uh pass on all uh pass on all the nines. Oh, it's in the it's in the sock liner, right? Okay, I guess so. Stage haze. I'm still gonna call it stage haze. Stage haze. I guess we're still we'll still call it stage haze. Whatever. But those are called dropping in July 2nd. We got the low tops dropping. July is looking stacked. And then we got the what the Travis Travis Scott's on July twenty first, and I think does anybody know when the uh, when the Yeezy slides restock? Because Yeezy slides are supposed to drop in July. I'm just not sure what day. I think someone said for Yeezy slides was going to be July third, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, for Yeezy slides, I don't know because you normally Yeezy slides restocks land on a Monday, so I'm not hundred percent sure. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Does anybody know when Yeezy Slides restock next uh next month? I just took a pick of them yesterday. Okay. They both came with the coral laces, uh, highs and lows. That's not everything today. Just here for the vibes. What up, Influence? What's good? What up, Influence? July 2nd or 1st? Okay. For Yeezy Slides? July 1st? Dude, dude I'm telling you, July is stacked, man. July is freaking stacked. And supposedly we have Travis Scott on uh, July 22nd, dude. Oh, man, dude. It's just going to be insane. And then going towards the end of uh, June, we're getting to Yeezy Day. Oh, my gosh. The next couple months is going to be freaking insane, bro. Easy cop today after everyone and their mother is hit on the confirmed 350 V2s. We got seven more minutes, by the way, chat. Seven more minutes. Hey, make sure you guys run it up. Who's going to be my 300 like in the chat, man? If you guys don't mind, make sure you guys smash that like button, all right? Make sure you guys smash that like button. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Greatly appreciate you guys tapping in. Thank you guys so much. Uh, July 22nd is Travis Scott's. Okay. Um, Hey, birthday month is about to be lit. Facts, Chanel. Chanel. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Yeezy Day is going to be freaking crazy, bro. I'm excited for Yeezy Day. Really, really excited. Um, July 23rd is my birthday. There you go. You going for anything, Rafi? Um, probably not, Kevin. I'm skipping on everything today. I'm skipping on everything today. But I don't know what's going on with the, uh, the Dunk Highs. Oh, no, there goes Dunk Highs Men's. Finally says available. Available coming soon. Does anyone need the link? For dunks? Anybody need the link for dunks? Here's the men's. Here's men's dunks. There's men's dunks right here. And there, here's women's. Anyone needs the link? There it is. They've been saying available. It says coming soon now. Available June 21st, 7 a.m. PST. About, they're about to drop in six minutes. Six more minutes. Six more minutes. The desert elephant's supposed to drop end of the month. Okay. Uh, why you pass? I just don't really wear dunk highs like that. I mean, I had I had so many pairs of dunk highs before, bro. So many pairs of dunk highs, but I don't really need this pair to be honest. I already have pandas in the collection. If you're trying to cop this morning, there's people in the chat that actually want pairs, bro. 
there's actually people in the chat that actually want pairs, man. Um, who, it doesn't really matter if it's a brick or not, man. If they want them for the toe, they want it for the toe. You feel me? Uh, what up, Jake B? Yo, good luck uh, on any any drops today, chat. What up, Jake B? Dude, Jake B, I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute, bro. That's my boy Jake B in the chat, man. It's been a minute. Hopefully everything is well. You seem like you, you've been a busy, busy man in the last year or so, bro. I feel like I, I, I see Jake B, but shout out to my boy, my boy Jake B in the chat, man. For real, for real. The little, my, boy, my, boy, my boy Jake, the OG. OG mod. Uh, give one... Uh, what? Easy for the collection family. Um, hopefully... I still have birthday luck on these drop this week. There you go. Hopefully you get the luck, man. You got to smash that like button for some good luck. I think that, let me see. Oh, I have a GS pair. This is, uh, this is the missus. What's up? Good morning, Jay Hugh. What up, Jay Hugh? What's good, bro? It's been a minute. Been crazy busy. Busy. I've been always uh dropping when I can. No, it's all good, Jake. It's all good. But we miss you, man. We miss you, bro. Shout out to my boy Jake B. We miss you though. We definitely miss you. But here's the uh dunk highs. This is this is a GS size though. This is a GS. They're not coming in GS this morning. They're only coming out in men's and women's. But here it is. You going? What are you going for today? I don't think I'm going for anything today, bro. I think I'm skipping. Uh, buy what you uh buy what you like exactly. Uh, I'm not going for anything today, my friend. I'm skipping on all the drops this morning. I don't think I'm I'm not going for anything. I want to see how these Cortezes are looking like. I'm I'm actually curious how the drop is gonna go when it comes to these Cortezes. Yo, Rafi just saw hopped in. Going for the nines for the uh for the fit for the toe. There we go. Sneaker ambition. There we go, bro. You got three minutes, chat. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. Uh, and by the way, chat. Hold on. And by the way, Union does not drop until 11 a.m. Eastern time. So if anyone's coming in asking what time the drop is going to be at, Union is not dropping until 11 a.m. EST. All right, you going for the Cortezes? Probably not. I'm skipping on the Cortezes. Need a pair for the toe, but I know I will take an L. Uh, the video shows black toe, the, the toe, but I know I will take an L. Bro, you got to manifest that W, bro. We're going to see a lot of Ws in the chat. I promise, man. We're going to see a lot of Ws in the chat. Union better not take my money this time. I told you guys, dude. I know how bad the drop was when it comes to Union drop. But we were going to be back right here again on this in this chair, live cop in the unions. That's how it was going to be. And I told you guys, like, I know how bad the union drop went. But like at, like at the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, people were still are still going to go for Union LA. No matter what sneaker it is, bro. No matter what sneaker it is, people are still going to go after this sneaker. Uh, where's the panda dropping, bro? On Nike app, bro. If you're asking these questions now, you better hurry up because it's on the Nike app. Here's the link for the dunks. Okay, if you guys are asking last minute questions for these dunks, here's the link because it's gonna be tough whenever like a shoe drops and then someone will ask me, "Yo, where is these dunks dropping?" They drop at, at in like one minute, bro. You got one minute until the shoe drops. One more minute. Good luck to everybody in the chat, man. One more minute. All right, good luck. Um, that is the link for both men's and women's. But you could look, you could search it up on the app if you want to. Uh, if you're going for the nines, good luck. They're dropping on the sneakers app as a 10 minute draw. Um, if you guys want to know the stock numbers last minute, stock numbers for the nines are going to be a hundred. Oh, excuse me, thirty nine thousand seven hundred for the nines and women's. So just an FYI. All right, it's live. Good luck. It is now live. Let's see if it refreshes. See me if my timer is going to work. There it is. Now the timer freaking works this time. Good luck to everybody manifesting this W. You got to manifest it, bro. It's a Leo drop on Nike. It's a Leo drop on Nike. By the way, a Leo drop on Nike. 
All right, Leo drop on Nike. Here's the link. Samir, what up, man? Samir, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but Samir, what up? But here's that link for, uh, for the dunks. There it is. Uh, Union is going to be dropping in one hour. Union is going to be dropping in one hour, by the way, chat. Union is going to be dropping in one hour. And by the way, if Union does drop, there's going to be a whole domain change. There will be a new link for it, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, should be an easy cop. I think so. Uh, Kith restock Cortez is. Kith. Let's see. I don't really shop at Kith like that, bro. I really don't. Uh, I don't even know how to navigate this freaking website. New arrivals. Footwear. What Cortez's are you talking about? See, sometimes I don't really know how to navigate these, uh, this website for real. I really don't. Yeah, I don't really know how to navigate kits like that. Um, let's see if the unions, uh, will be an easy cop since everybody's passing. I think it should be an easy cop, to be honest. I, I think it's going to be an easy cop. I don't think Kit dropped Union Cortez's, bro. Did they really? Kit just dropped Union Cortez's? Oh, that's weird. That's weird that they dropped Union Cortez's. Uh, what new? Do what to go to footwear? Shop all? Let's see. Sneakers. I don't see them. I don't see anything on uh on Kit. Uh, they, uh, they did drop on Cortez's, uh, but they are sold out. Okay. Password page on union. Uh Oh, password page is already up on union. Wow. That was quick. What up JSM? What up, bro? You caught the dunk highs, bro? Probably not. Probably not. This is why we're going to get Shopify filters on freaking discord soon, bro. This is why we're going to get it. I don't see them at all on Kith. Uh, men's pin is uh 12w congrats bro congratulations oh there it is boom uh bam there it is i think they sold out right yeah they're already sold out the kit gets pretty bought even if you have even if you have uh sometimes when you have shopify filters too it's like oh, i feel like bots already load this shit up like so quick though Cortez's bot fest. It's crazy how they got bought, bought it like that because I don't think they're going to do very well. W on pandas. Congratulations. Let me know if you guys hit on pandas. Let me know if you guys hit on pandas. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second here. Um... W Raffi, uh, congratulations. W on a size nine woman's pending on men's. Congrats. W on an eight and a half men's. Congrats. W on pandas. Let me know if you guys hit on pandas. Uh, yeah, they dropped. Well, they only dropped this colorway because the black one is only uh union exclusive. The black pair is only union exclusive. Uh, Jordan three restock on the offspring. Okay. Uh, do I need to sign in to go on union drop? No, you do not, bro. You do not need a, you don't need a login at all. You don't need a union account to, in order to cop from union, bro. You really don't. W on a size 10 men's. Congrats. Cop the eight and uh for my misses. Congrats. W on pandas. I don't care if they are highs. Congratulations, man. It's pandas, black and whites, pandas, whatever. They're still dropping on Kith. Keep refreshing. I don't really care for Cortez's anyways, to be honest. I really don't care. Uh, if you guys are going to go for Cortez's, I think you should just base your chances on Union. Uh, pass on Pandas today. W on 10 and 8.5W. Uh, Congrats. Post your W's on Sneaker. Yeah, make sure you guys post your W's on Sneaker W's. All right? Make sure you guys post your W's on Sneaker W's. If you guys are in here,
Make sure you guys post your W's on in sneaker W's so we could see all your W's that you guys hit this morning. All right. Make sure you guys run it up though. Uh, let me see what the hell is going on, bro. Uh, w on a size nine, Panda Dunk highs. Congrats, dude. A lot of people are hitting. I don't think I see any L's, bro. W W on pandas. A lot of people hit on W's, bro. W on men's size ten for sneaker daddy. There you go, sneaker mommy. Hit on a size ten for sneaker daddy. <laughs> <laughs> passing on the cortez too there you go you copping anything today raf no i'm skip. i'm chilling bro i'm staying chilling i want to see how this drop goes on on uh on union like dj khaled said another one congrats bro i don't think i've seen any l's on pandas oh there it goes tony says l on dunks oh no Hey, by the way, we've been seeing a lot of restocks on the Nike app, by the way. We've been seeing a lot of restocks on the Nike app as of late. So if, like, say if they sell out, sometimes they've been restocking, like, last minute for some reason. I don't know why. I do not know why. But let me know if you guys hit. All right? Let me know if you guys hit. Congratulations if any of you guys hit in this chat, man. For real, for real. Hold on. Let me see. What the hell? Uh, Rafi, did you enter for the 550s on LALD? I might do it today. W for uh, Jace Miles. There you go, New York Gag. Congratulations on the W. Top Rafi. Congrats, dude. A lot of Ws. There's a couple Ls. I've seen a couple Ls. Someone said L on the uh, 11 half dunk. I feel like 11 half is always tough to hit, though. Gotta, I got to give you that, man. 11 half is always a tough size to hit, to be honest. 11 half is always a tough size to hit all the time. Uh, L, W, W on a size 12 men's pain of highs. Congrats. When is the Cortez is dropping? 11 a.m. Eastern time. 11 a.m. Eastern time for the Cortez is 11 a.m. EST. 11 a.m. EST. 11 a.m. EST. Two W's men's and women's pain is. There you go, C. Wilk. Congrats. Um... Hold on. Shout out to Jerry. Hold on. Shout out to Jerry. My bad. I missed out Jer on Jerry's, uh, on his re-up. Shout out to Jerry. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. He said, hey, collection family. My fam got COVID-ish again. Uh, I'm a ghost right now. Shout out to Jerry. Hopefully you feel better. My bad, Jerry. Jerry, where you at? Bro, my bad. I didn't, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't see it. I hella missed that. I hella missed, uh, missed that on that re-up. When was that? Four minutes ago? My bad, Jerry. Jerry, if you're in here, my bad if I missed out on that one, man. Sorry about that, bro. I hella missed out on that re-up. I don't know if Jerry's in here. Uh, shout outs to JD Kicks. Thank you so much for ringing up for six months. Uh, I hit on two 11 halves. Congrats. There you go. Congratulations. There you go, Jerry. My bad, Jerry. Sorry I missed out on that. I don't know. I blanked out for some reason. I don't know why. That's my boy, Jerry. Thanks so much for ringing up, man. Hopefully you feel better, you and the fam, bro. I'm sorry that you guys got COVID, but hopefully you guys feel, feel better. Uh, what's the link for a sneakers app? Oh, my gosh, bro. Hey, whoever is going to hit on the nines, um, hopefully, you guys, uh, hopefully you guys hit. I'm skipping on the nines. All right? Union is going to be dropping in one hour, chat. All right? One more hour. Okay? Like, I know that some people are new. Uh, but Union it always drops at 11 Eastern time. Always. They always drop at 11 a.m. EST. Uh, here we go. Good luck on the nines, by the way, if anyone went for the nines. Good luck. Yo, let's go! My toms are out for delivery. Let's go. I get my toms in today. Let's freaking go. I should unbox that. Should I do a video? Should I do a video or should I unbox it on stream? Get my toms in today. Hell yeah, dude. I'm excited to see those in hand. See what the hype is all about. Maybe I should unbox it on stream. I don't know. Maybe I should unbox them on stream. Uh, Dunk High's Panda had red uh, tag on them on the tongue. These have black tongue tags. Yeah, I think the uh, women's, right? The women's have... Because uh... I know my, the GS pair that I have. It has red on the tongue. Video, stream, ghost watching. What up, Daniel? What's good? Nice cop, Rafi. Yeah, I should get. I should be getting them in today. I'm excited. Uh, hella missed out on the toms. Uh, man, I'm sick. What up, the craze? What up, Ra 
Oh yeah, DeGrace, I'm sorry yours got canceled, bro. That shit sucked, dude. I seen your you were like the only person that got canceled, bro. That shit sucked. Trading my uh desert slide for a championship purple dunk lows. Well, what do you think? What do you think, Raph? Trade your desert slide for championship dunk. That's a pretty good trade. That's a pretty good trade. Uh unbox on stream. Yeah, I'll I'll see. I'll I'll most likely get them in today. And then I'll most likely unbox it on stream, probably. I'll probably unbox them on stream. Got the nine size 12, my first pair of nines. Congrats. There was 37,000 pairs of these nines, chat. 37,000. 37,000 pairs. Uh, there are uh, man, panda dunk eyes. Uh, have a red tag too. They, they go for more. Um... Hit on a nine and a size nine and a half on pandas. Congratulations. A lot of people hit this morning, man. There's only a couple L's that I've seen in the chat, but majority of the all the W's, like we've seen a lot of W's in the chat, man. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of W's on these dunk highs. Like if you really want the dunk highs, like you should have hit. But uh, if you didn't, um, it's all good. Honestly, it's all good if you didn't hit. It is all Gucci. Rafi, why I always hit on the damn highs, but never hit on the lows? Because there's more demand on the lows, bro. You got to understand that. There's more demand on the lows than the highs. That's the reason why, bro. Don't feel bad, man. There's going to be so many restocks on these low tops. Don't even feel bad, man. Don't even feel bad. Not selected? Uh-oh. Fat L, W on the panda size 9 and off. Congratulations, playboy. Let me know if you guys got a W or an L on these nines. Let me know. Let me know if you guys hit. Let me know if you guys hit two W's on the Jordan 9s and the uh, W on the Dunk Highs. There you go. Congrats. Let me know if you guys hit on the 9s. Because I don't know if anyone got a W or not. Uh, it's black and white. It's a panda. Yeah, if it's black and white, it's a panda. I don't even care. L on the 9s? Oh, no. Got to realize the 9s were a little bit more limited than most, uh, most sneakers this year. Okay? Only... 37,000 pairs. That's not a lot at all. I'll be on the Jordan 9, size 13. Yeah, buddy. There you go, Kevin. Congrats. I'll be in a size 9 or size 7. Congrats, Carmen. What color are you entering for the New Balance? Um, I think the, the maroon colorway. Probably the maroon colorway. I got two ship uh, shipments from Tom Sachs and one still nothing. Hopefully, they all come in. Ganadora. There you go. Congrats. W on a 13. There you go. Got two W's today. There you go. We still got Cortez's too, man. Still got Cortez's. A lot of you guys, dude, you guys are going to be spending all this money this morning, bro. A lot of you guys are going to be spending that bread on these uh, on these sneakers. Uh, congratulations to all the W's for real. W on the new uh, W now on Union. Oh, that's what we have coming up is Unions. That is what we're coming up is Unions. Can you show uh, us the Toms you got? Bro, I just said my toms are out for delivery. <laughs> bro, I just said they're out, they're out for delivery. I'll unbox them tomorrow and I'll show you, bro. I don't have my toms in right now. I just told you, I just told you they're out for delivery. Uh, <laughs> Y'all cashing out today. Facts, bro. That paycheck hitting. There we go, bro. I'm glad that I'm seeing a lot of W's in the chat. That's all that matters, man. If you guys are wanting shoes that you guys want, and if you guys cop, that's all that matters, man. As long as you guys are getting W's. Uh, listening from work, bro. There you go, John Wick. Appreciate you tapping in, man. Uh, let's see those Toms. Oh, gosh. Imagine if they made, uh, Air Force One pandas. Just putting up a panda emoji on the, on the tongue. Good. I mean, they came out with the Stussy mids. Air Force Ones mids. The Stussy Air Force One mids. We're going to call those, we're going to call those, uh, uh, pandas. Want to call those pandas or what? Uh, damn, L's on the pandas. I'm down bad. Oh, no, bro. It's all good, man. It's all good. If, if Sometimes it's not meant to be. It's meant to be, bro. It's not meant to be. Um, I'll show the sack. Hey, yo, chill. I'm waiting on my uh, barbershop. Hopefully, they arrive on, like, the golden rods I got my refund for. But they never showed up? Your golden rods never showed up or what? Oh, you're meaning pull up on the internet. You guys don't know what the Tom Sachs look like? These are how the Toms look like. Tom Sachs.
These are how the Toms look like. Last though was 328. Three twenty-eight was the last sell. These are the toms. If anyone was wondering, these are the toms I'm talking about, dude. These are going down, down, bro. Boring shoe. Oh yeah, dude. It's just a plain shoe. I think everyone definitely went it went for it because it's Tom. That's the reason why. But they retail that what one? What was retail at? Oh, dude, my freaking light is tweaking, bro. My light is tweaking. Hold on, what color should we go, chat? My light is tweaking. Change it up real quick. I guess we'll go back to pink. My light wants to go to pink, so that's what we're gonna go. Uh, I got I I got you when you uh come to Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas sneaker shows uh dinner on me. Shouts to John, I appreciate that man. I haven't been to Texas. Tom Sachs is down bad. LMA. What do you mean it's down bad? What do you mean down bad, bro? Retail was like what? How much retail was one twenty five? Still making a lot of money off this shoe. It's not down bad. It's I mean it's going down, but you're still gonna make a lot of money off the shoe. They never showed up, Rafi. It's been almost three weeks and they uh they never arrived to my house. I called uh to get my refund. Hopefully my barbershop do come in. Hopefully, bro. The thing is about Nike chat, like I'm I guess I'm I'm patient. Like I know if it takes a couple weeks, I, I would get worried too, but I feel like Nike has been a hit and miss when it comes to sending out a lot of their shoes like on time. Uh, the quality on the Jordan 9's uh, gray is trash. Really? I would trust his judgment, Smiley. I would definitely trust his judgment for sure. When it comes to wear tester, I would definitely trust, it, trust his judgment. I don't trust anybody else's judgment but wear tester sometimes because his judgment is actually true. Like, for real. Like, he has some true opinions and I... I like a lot of his reviews, and I feel like his uh, wear tester is like the most honest sneakerhead um, YouTuber, in my personal opinion. Because uh, he keeps the same energy. Some, um, the majority of the time, he keeps the same energy. I canceled my pandas. So you hit on the pandas and cancel them? Why would you cancel them if you just hit? I actually want the toms for the toe. There you go. Uh, it's because sometimes Nike sends two pairs to people. I've had orders I've never received and also been blessed with extra pairs. There you go. Um, still pending, uh, for pandas. If you're still pending, I'm not, I'm not sure what to tell you. I would check your bank account to see if, uh, if you got charged dubs on nine size 12, uh, Rafi got the, uh, black union Cortezes for me. Yeah. I'm not going for anyone's sizes, man. That's just how it is. We're not, I'm not going for anyone's sizes. Uh, because people get upset with me when I don't go for their size. And then like, I'm going for someone else's size. It's like, why, why would you be upset with me if I'm going for your someone else's size, but I didn't go for yours? Like, I only could go for one, one person. I'm only one person. I only got one account. I only could go for one person. Someone, someone DM'd me and be like, yo, bro, you keep going for all these people, and I've been asking you since day one on DMs. Like, bro, what? Why are you getting mad at me? Because I'm not going for your size. Maybe I didn't see your, your, uh, your, your message on time. Bro, I'm like, what? That's why I'm like slowly not going for people's sizes because from from that, I'm like, dude, I gotta try to be nice, but then like people get upset when I don't go for their size. W on Hibbits for my brother. There you go, Chris. Uh, congratulations on those who uh, hit on the pandas. Wear them, guys. Rock what you got. What you got? Facts, bro. Straight heat. Talking all that facts. Salty dogs. Yeah, bro. It was it was a nasty message. I'm like, bruh. It was a really, really mass, nasty message. Um, I've been asking since day two. <laughs> oh boy, Delion, man. Yo, ALD charges you for entering? Yeah, I think Smooth, the reason why they do that, it's because they want to like reduce the bot entries, I guess. I mean, I guess that's a good way to do it for the ALD uh, raffles. I think that's a really good way to do it, I guess. But I mean, I don't know. I, I did see that though. I did see that ALD every time they uh every time they drop like New Balance collaborations on their website, they will give you like a pending charge. But if you hit, then they'll charge you, 100% charge you. But they'll refund you. Um, 
if you don't get them. So it, it's like, a, I don't know, man, the hit and miss. I don't really like those type of raffles. Like when they have to charge you, like when they hold your money back. And then if you hit, then you hit. But if you don't, they'll refund you. Like, I don't like that type of raffles. Well, I get it why they did that. It's a good way to, you know, reduce the bots. Uh, down bad, $300, $460. Bro, I don't blame you, bro. I really don't. Went for someone size on the Onyx 350s and hit. Now he doesn't want them. Don't be like him. Oh, no. You went for someone size for the Onyx 350s and you hit. Now he doesn't want them. See, like, this is the reason why you have. Sometimes you can't be going for someone's sizes sometimes because they be changing their mind because they see the resale value. Be like, eh, and they're not going for much, so I don't want them. Dude, this is why you don't go for people's sizes, man, sometimes, bro. People be flaking. People be flaking. Um, uh, exit the app, swipe in, close and reopen. Yeah, if you're still pending, you might have to force quit your app, low-key. You might have to force quit your app if you're still pending. Uh, but make sure you guys run it up, man. Let's get the 300 likes. 300 likes. Let's run it up real quick, man. If you guys are new here, man, I welcome to the collection family and consider subscribing to the channel i greatly appreciate you guys tapping in this morning uh rock what you like exactly man um you going for the union cortezes what size what colorway i'm not going for any of them bro uh, i might be passing on the cortezes but i if i were you guys if you don't need them for the toe just pass on the cortezes to be honest uh, that's just me just talking real shit bro like i understand you see everyone else going for the cortezes but at the end of the day like you cop what you like you know if you're like debating whether if you want them or not, like if you see everyone going for them, you're probably going to go for them too. So you might as well just not go for them if you don't want them. You know, that's just my personal opinion. Then you're just going to get stuck with them. You know, you're just going to get stuck with the shoes, something that you don't want. But I'm sure that someone out there is going to want the Cortezes. But it's just the fact that like matter of fact that you're stuck with the sneaker. Rafi, I hit on, on StockX. There you go. <laughs> Uh, hit on pandas, both men's and women's on my size, and just cancel the women's uh, one only. Need one for the toe. There you go. See, I get it. See, I, I, I know someone that, you know, um, that cops, you know, sneakers, and if they hit multiple sizes, sometimes people will cancel the other one just because they just want one size, one shoe only. Going for the black Cortez for the toe. There you go, Nacho. Hopefully you hit. And by the way, yo, freaking Union, Union already put out the password page, bro. Password page is already up on Union. So let me unpin this message real quick. So if you guys were wanting the Union website, the Union LA password page is officially up. And hopefully they do a really good job on their bot protection. How do you guys, what do you guys think? You think they're going to charge multiple people multiple times in their card? Hopefully it doesn't happen, bro. I, I, I don't think it will, but it's going to suck if it does. Imagine they charge someone like 40 times on these Union Cortezes because they can't sell out. Just got my confirmation email uh, for, my, for my W from Go. There you go. Uh, hey, Raph, what's, uh, what's the password, dude? Uh, you're, you, we're lucky that these Cortezes are not as hype because people are going to be asking the, the password. And I'm not going to lie, Union Dunk, I think when the Union Dunks dropped, which is the Corp Purples, and the what was the core purples and the argons when that dropped on the union website that was the biggest stream of the year so far we had over three i think we had like almost four thousand people watching the stream that morning that shit was crazy the union dunk i don't know if you guys remember that stream like i couldn't even read the chat bro it was like almost it was like about four thousand people we peaked at on the union dunks drop that shit was crazy bro that was the biggest stream so far this year. Uh, was the union was the union dunks by far, and I think after that was the the foam runner, not the foam runners for the Yeezy slides restock. That was one of the biggest streams as well. But I don't think it, that I don't think no one's gonna uh, none of my streams are gonna top that one. Maybe Yeezy Day, Yeezy Day might be big, but we'll see. Uh, people really still asking for the password. How many times uh, did we have a drop with the password page? <laughs> <laughs> uh let me tell you something everyone comes in here asking for the password just because they want to troll they come in here trolling because they want to ask for the for the password page but really they they know how these drops go right they know how these drops go that's why we i'm trying to ignore 
like when people ask what's the password because we're gonna get a lot of people ask what's the password all the time so um i remember that l dude i was glad that i hit i hit on the core purples and low key i don't know about you guys but i feel like the union dunks run a tad bit big i don't know i don't know if it if it was me but I don't know if it's me, but these union dunks just run a tad bit big. I don't know. Uh, shout out to Smooth. Thank you so much for the $2 donation. RIP for a blazer. Uh, Caleb uh, Swanigan. I, I'm going gonna, gonna to be honest. I don't know who that is, man. Sheesh. Former Blazer player. I got to look that up on Twitter. Maybe I can know by face, but by names, I'm not 100% sure. But shout out to Smooth. Thank you so much for the $2 donation. Sheesh. I don't know who that is, to be honest. I might have to look. Uh, Travis Scott got restock on Foot Patrol. Okay. Uh, I wanted them so bad, I might pay resale for the personal. Dude, I don't know. I feel like I could have went a half size down. I, I, really, I honestly think so. Feel like I could have went a half size down on these union dunks. Uh, Rafa, you going for? You going to cut the uh dunks that shop? You going to cut the dunks that shop drop? I also hit on the. Uh, oh, you're talking about the SBs? Yes, I am gonna be cutting them. Yes, I am gonna be cutting them. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. I just feel like they're just a tad bit big on me, low key. Just a tad bit. Not not nothing too crazy. But I feel like I could have went a half size down on these Union Dunks. These are so fire, though. Like, so clean on feet. Bro, hit Union Dunks and uh, Tom Sparita. Congrats. Morning, Rafi and Collection family. Got up late. Congrats to everyone who hit. Facts, Joel. If hopefully you hit as well. But Union is going to be dropping in 30 minutes. 30 more minutes for Union. Uh, Check Discord. Check Discord. What happened on Discord, bro? Check Discord. Hold on, what do you say? Honestly, I might have to change my mind. Kind of feel bad. I'm sorry. I don't think I'd be able to fit into a 12 in stands. Please do. Wait, what? What, he changed his mind on that trade that you had? That's shitty, bro. Well, that trade was too good to be true, though, bro. That trade was, like, too good to be true. Low key, but I mean, that sucks that he kind of flaked on you. I wouldn't say he scammed you, but I think he just kind of changed his mind, which I kind of hate when people do that. But because one thing, you kind of went out your way. I'm assuming you probably, what, sh did you ship out your shoes then? Did you ship your shoes out? I feel like that trade was low. It was just low key too good to be true, to be honest. But I wouldn't have taken that trade at all, to be honest. That was the, what, the trophy room trade that you had? Trophy rooms, well, that guy trophy rooms for what, strawberry uh, coughs, uh, strawberry coughs, 350 breads, and then you put up, forgot another shoe as well. I forgot. I don't remember the, no, nah, this time I waited. Yeah, that's good. That Good thing you waited. Good thing you didn't ship them out. But still, I, I wouldn't consider that guy a scammer. I would just say he just kind of wasted your time. I don't think I don't think anyone could get scammed on trade block to be honest unless trade block themselves scam you. You know what I mean? I don't think anyone could get scammed on trade block unless trade block in general just scams you. But I just think you just you basically just you just wasted your time on that guy where he basically flaked on you and he said never mind, I don't want him. Like I I get I, I'd be frustrated too, but good thing you waited though. Um Raffi, are the hijack tees run the same as street market supply tees? No. Hijack tees, bro, they run super small. Like, I wear a size large on hijack tees. These are the hijack tees that I have right here. This one they sent me, this is a size large. This right here is a size large. Like, I'm five foot three, bro. I had to go a size large. So, I don't know how tall you are and how big you are, but this is a size large. And it fits. 
Like this size large fits like a size medium on me. Like if I wore a street market supply t-shirt, I'm normally a size medium, but this is a size large. And I just don't like it. They do run small. Too much time wasters on trade blocks. That's why you get like trash trades, bro. Like people be like, people just want to put out trades just to see if, if people will accept it. That some, like, I don't know. Like I, I low-key want to put so many shoes up on trade block, but I'm just don't want to waste my time on people that might flake on me, you know? Uh, thanks for answering. I got an extra large in the hijacks and the large in the street market supply. There you go. I think you should be fine then because hijack tees do run a, a tad bit small. Are you going for these uh, trash Cortezes, Rafi? No, I'm skipping on these Cortezes, man. I'm not really going for anything. I didn't go for anything this morning. I'm literally saving my money for the Jordan 1 lows. Uh, those Jordan 1 lows are dropping next uh, the end of the month. Like next month is going to be stacked, man. Like I need to start picking and choose a lot of my shoes because I've been, I've been copping a lot of shoes as of late, man. I've been buying a lot of sneakers as of late. So I definitely need to slow down on like spending. So, cause I have other things I want to spend on this summer. Like I got to, I want to do some yard work. Like I'm trying to get my grass back green. Cause my grass is super thin. Like I, I like to do yard work, man. Um, I got other things planned. Like I'm trying to go on one more vacation. Like I'm, I'm, I'm planning to go on Vegas, you know, sneaker con Vegas. That's the plan. Um, I got a lot of plans this summer, man. I don't, I can't be spending on like so many shoes that I don't want for the toe. Uh, what do you, what do you even cop on union? How does the password page work? You just got to refresh. You don't need an account for union. You just got to refresh at 11 and just hope for the best, man. Okay. That's why it's going to either, it's going to either take you to the uh, homepage or it's going to take you to the union, uh, Cortez collection page. So I'm telling you guys, just stay on the homepage. Once it reloads, it's going to take you to the homepage. It's going to say like buy now or shop all. It should be, I think it should be awfully easy. I don't know. I uh, wanted my vintage uh, inspired t-shirt from uh, Jane Traders. Okay. I'm going to, I think I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I think I'm going to share my screen um, for this union drop. So you guys could see how I go through on this queue and how fast I go through it. Because people are like, yo, Raph, you buy, you do this. No, I don't. So I'll show you guys how quick I get through. But I mean, it, it could be a hit and miss, like, right? Because like, I think once you get to the drawing a box around the biggest cat, once you get there, that is where, that is where like people mess up at because people don't know how to take their time. Like you have to take your time on drawing a box around the biggest cat. Same, I slow down on shoes because I want a vacation more. Well, hopefully you have a vacation very soon, Chanel. Hopefully you get a vacation popping very soon. Uh, I got to get a W on the Panda Highs. Congrats. All I want is the Citrus 7s and Reverse Mochas. Dude, I seen the Citrus 7s coming out. I think Unbreakable posted a video um, on Instagram or Z Sneakerhead uh, posted a video of the uh, the 7s. They actually look pretty nice, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a 7 guy like that, but those are actually pretty solid if you guys ask me, man. When it comes to those sevens, those are actually pretty nice, man. Not going to lie. Not going to lie to you guys. I just hit on these uh, stupid nines. It's not good, man. I mean, if you went for them, go for them. You know what I'm saying? If that's something you wanted, can't get upset if something that you didn't want and you hit. It's your fault for going for them. What up, Rafi? Uh, do you think it, uh, this is going to be an easy cop? Um, You know what? I'm not going to say anything is an easy cop. I mean. There was over 100K stocks, 100, 116K on men's pandas, and there's still a couple people that didn't hit. Uh, I'm going for the sevens for sure. Yeah, sister, it's just a colorway. I feel like it's kind of hard to wear. It's not a wearable sneaker at all. Well, sevens are not a wearable sneaker at all. Uh, go through it uh, for 11 and a half. Uh, you would think the Cortez will go below retail. To be honest, respectfully, yes. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like there's going to be a lot of freaking pairs out there. Like if if Union LA is doing first come first serve on these Cortezes, that's when you know they have a lot of pairs. They don't really do first come first serve on any of their sneakers. I personally think they're going to go, I think they're going to be roughly right at retail when it comes to this Union Cortez. I think they're going to be roughly at retail. 
if anything, if you, anyone thinks I'm crazy, all right, we'll look back in a couple months or in a couple weeks once everyone gets their pairs in. Like, I feel like people are still waiting for their Jordan 2s. Do you think I have a chance to uh, cop on Union manually? Everyone has a chance in here, bro. Absolutely, man. You definitely have a chance when it comes to this Union drop. Uh, where's the Union drop? Only on in LA. Yeah, in store in LA, LA only. And then online, it's going to be Union LA and sneakers app. I wouldn't be surprised if they branched out and send pairs to like boutique stores. And then they're going to sell it that way. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, it's hard pass on these uh, Tugboat 9s. Thanks. Uh, trying to trade my Mocha Retro 1s. DS don't know what to trade for. Uh, do they do they do resell for what? Uh, low-key thinking about waiting and getting it cheaper. I think you could low-key can, man. I think you could wait on it, to be honest. If you want to wait uh, until they drop and see what the market does, I think they're going to be dead ass on retail, man. For real, for real. I, that's just my personal opinion. If you look at all the, the all the shoes that's dropped this year so far, like there's shoes that are going straight to retail, man. They, it's like mostly shoes that people are not expecting. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be surprised, bro. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this hits like under retail. I'm still waiting on my uh, Rattans F Union. That is insane, bro. Influence, when you hit me up about that, I can't believe you're still waiting on that. Like, for real. Like, you're still waiting for your Rattans uh, Union 2s. That, that shit's crazy, bro. That is crazy. I wonder if anyone's still waiting for the dunks. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't be surprised if people are still waiting for their dunks. All shoes retail or less? There you go. Um, I want to ask you guys about, like, I want to get your guys' opinion, okay? We got roughly about 20 more minutes until the drop. But I got, hold on. I got this going on on my channel real quick. Hold on. Like, my YouTube shorts have been doing very, very well. And I think that's the reason why a lot of my, like, videos have been doing pretty well. Like, this last video that I hit was 234,000 views. And then some of my skits that I did, 46,000, 50,000. Like, this one right here, 261,000. I think I might do more authenticated videos at SneakerCon when I go to Vegas. Because these videos have been popping, bro. Like, she's everywhere, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, she's everywhere. Um, because I, I did a video on a YouTube short that she actually caught fakes. Because there was a lot of people blowing up that last short video. That people were like, yo, she's not an authenticator, this and that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I made that video that she actually caught fakes. Because, like, she actually... It's crazy how, like, how good she is when it comes to authenticating shoes. I would say, like, when people hit me up to authenticate sneakers, I'm the last person you guys should go to because I can't authenticate sneakers with crap, okay? I got a black light. There's some things that I do know. I There's some things that I do know, but there's some things that I don't, you know? People don't like her for some reason. I don't know either. It's crazy. There's so many. There's thousands of authenticators out there. I don't know why people, I don't know why people hate her. I don't know. They, yeah, people hate on her so bad. I don't know why. Maybe because like people, people blew her up, and she's blown up on TikTok and tw on uh, on YouTube. Who cares? Like, would you rather have someone that doesn't know? Who would who'd you rather know? Who would you rather have authenticated? Her or some random dude at StockX? Yeah, you don't even know who's authenticating your sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, who would you who would you rather? You can't please everybody, man. She goes a little too fast. But I, you got to realize it's based off experience. Like, you don't even know how StockX is or GoDap is authenticating your sneakers. They could be doing the same thing. You don't even know. You don't know, even know if, you know, you don't even know if StockX, they'd be like, they open up the box and be like, okay, this is good. You know, you rather, you rather have someone that actually is actually looking at the shoe and then they know what they're doing versus going to StockX and Go and you don't even know how they authenticate the, the sneaker. Like they made a what a short video on on Instagram how to authenticate a sneaker, all right. Like of how they do it, but technically you really don't know how they authenticate a sneaker because you don't you don't see it. It just goes through it and you just you just you know obviously it gets accepted, and then you get the sneaker. How do you how do you know how do you know whether or not if you're pleased of how they authenticated your sneaker? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. 
I don't get that. People uh, hate her giving out the things to look for. Find raps. It's people that wear raps that hate her. I guess so. But there's still people. There's still people that hate her that are resellers and people that are just normal people like us. You know? Um, yeah, people are haters are gonna hate. If 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 you got haters, you're doing something right. But I think she's a nice person. I, I think she's an absolutely nice person. Uh, I've talked to her outside of uh just uh just not recording and I've got to know her a little bit and she's cool. She's cool as hell. She's been working for eBay for a couple years and she's been doing it. She loves to do it. She loves to do it, man. She loves to do it. Um worst video, either show the fur full process or don't post anything. What StockX uh boss thought that was a good idea. Yeah, that was a the, a terrible idea on StockX, bro. A terrible idea. They they got so much smoke off that, bro, off just like pointing out of what they look for, but I think they have a full video on on uh YouTube, I think. She's you know, she's super cool. She's super cool. Uh they're hating because they already uh bought their their fake. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's super cool. All right, she's super super cool. Um that's how she does it so fast. Yeah, I mean, whenever it's all based off experience, you know, everything is based off experience. Me personally, I would tell you guys, man, I am not a person I would go to to authenticate your sneakers, okay? I tell you guys, you can't authenticate a sneaker, all right? You can't authenticate a sneaker through pictures. You can't. I don't know how. I guess there's other things that you could point out that could be, you know, obvious, but I still don't think you'd uh, authenticate a sneaker through pictures. I hate StockX. They have uh, sent me hundreds of fakes. I've seen people getting through like situations where like StockX and Goat sends them fakes. Like I have yet have been in a situation where like they send me fakes. I've never been sent fakes at all. Uh, Rafi, I hit four pairs of dunks. Congrats. There we go. Does uh these uh Cortezes worth profit? No. If you're if you're going for these if you're going for these uh if you're going for these Cortezes to resell you might have to be careful with them. Uh, Raph, you ever buy a a fake in accident? I've done a trade. Um, uh, I've done a trade where like this was a long time ago. I could tell you my story. Um, I wish I still had the video, and I don't know why the hell I deleted all my old videos. Like I regret deleting some of my old videos that I had. But I made a video where I did a trade and I traded what the KD sevens for uh Jordan 13 Wheat 13s, which released back in, I don't know, early 2000s, right? And I remember making a I make I made a video of me unboxing the Jordan 13s, uh Wheat 13s. And it's funny because um that's how I met JMK. That's how I met JMK. And Jumperman Chris hit me up on Instagram. He's like, yo, bro. I'm not trying to be an asshole or this and that, but uh, your 13s are fake because Jumperman Chris is a huge 13 guy and he actually has the same pair of the Wheat 13s and he actually sent me pictures of his pair and I compared it to mine and I ended up getting got for a Jordan 13 Wheat, but I ended up getting my money back though. I ended up getting my money back and I ended up getting my shoe back and stuff like that because the dude that I've done, I did business, business with, with that Jordan, uh, with that, uh, what's it called? With the uh, KDs. He was cool about it. And he didn't know they were fake. And he obviously didn't want the 13s um, back. So I ended up just giving them back to Goodwill. I just sent them to Goodwill. And I said, I'm not keeping these. Hell no. So um, that's how, that was the only situation I think that I, I came across when it came to fakes. Um, I would say, I would say I caught fakes before uh, from one of my friends. I wouldn't say I'm the best authenticator, but I had a Jordan 5, a Jordan 5 off-white um, in my possession. Obviously, I had a real pair. Um, and then one of my friends was like, yo, bro, yo, Rafi, I don't think this Jordan 5 that I got from one of my homies is 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 real. And so, like, he came over, brought the shoe over. We ended up comparing the two. And it was it was obvious that his freaking shoe was fake. Uh, one thing, the boxes were like, it was the same size and his size box was way bigger than mine, way bigger than mine. Um, and the one thing that I caught on his box was I used a black light and I just went on the box and, 
and see because obviously people use the black light on boxes to see if there's any like like random stamps that just get put on the uh sizing uh tag and so like i i hovered over my black light on this sizing tag and i seen a travis scott stamp like a travis scott a random travis scott stamp on his box and from there i was like bro these are not real <laughs> and like he was like how do you know i was like dude there's like a random travis scott stamp on your sizing tag like you don't ever, it's an off-white Jordan 5, and there's a Travis Scott stamp, like, just, like, a Travis Scott Cactus Jack stamp stamp on his off-white uh, off 5s, and um, a lot of it, it was obvious, like, the yellow on the bottom of the sneaker, it was obviously off, um, like, the colors were off, the box sizing was off, same size, but his box was a lot bigger, um, the feel of the uh, the feel of the paper, I guess, was a lot different. Uh, but it was obviously when I saw that one, the stamp, I was like, yeah, these are that's a red flag right there. Just a random Travis Scott stamp on the freaking sizing tag. Like what? Um, uh, who's off white? Travis Scott. That's rare. LOL. Fact. But I'm like, what is the stamp doing here? It was the uh, it was just the Cactus Jack, you know, the circle stamp. That's what I saw on the freaking box. There was like two of them. I was like, this is no way this is real. No way this is real. Um, but that's how I caught one fake. And I should have made some content out of it because we end up pulling up on his uh in his friend's house, and which was not the like we weren't trying to be dicks or you know, and stuff like that. He came out, he was like, Yo, bro, what's going on? I was like, bro, um, I think he paid like 500 bucks flat for a DS pair, and that was another red flag to me. Cause I was like, bro, off white fives are going for how much? Uh, let me double check real quick. Off white fives, the black colorway, how much are they going for? And this was like, dude, this was like, I would say this was this was last year, last year September. So I mean, obviously, uh, prices have definitely changed. But off white five, you paid five hundred bucks at the time for a DS pair, and it's going for seven hundred bucks for a DS pair. So he paid 500 bucks for a DS pair and he paid, and he paid 500 bucks. So we pulled up to the guy's house. Once I saw 500 bucks, I was like, bro, I think that's a red flag. 500 bucks for an off-white five size eight, a DS pair doesn't sound right. Pulled up to his house. I explained to the dude, I was like, hey man, uh, your, the Jordan fives you sold to him was fake. Um, I'm just letting you know, I'm not trying to be an ass and I'm just asking you, where'd you get your shoe? And supposedly, <laughs> Supposedly he got it from a friend. Supposedly he said he got it from a friend, and then he changed up his story and said he got it from. St He's like, "Oh no, I remember, I got it from StockX." So he said at first, for the first like, the first question I asked was like, "Where'd you get them?" He said, "I got it from a friend," and then like ten to fifteen minutes into the conversation, where I was kind of explaining and explaining to him, I was like, "Yo, these were the differences." This is what I see as red flags. And he's like, oh, I, I forgot. I got these from StockX. Like, how do you change saying like, oh, you got it from a friend. And then now you're saying you got it from StockX. From there, I was like, okay, I know this guy is like trying to scam or something. bro. Like, there's no way that you just change up your story where you got it from a friend. And I was like, oh, I remember I got it from StockX. No, man. When someone change up their story like that, it's like blank obvious. Like they were trying to got people, bro. He was trying to, he was trying to got people. He was like, oh man, like, he was like, I don't have the money. He said, he said, he's like, bro, I don't have the money, but I have these Jordan 3s. Uh, I forgot what shoe he said. He said, hey, I have these Jordan. I think he said some Jordan Travis Scott 6s. He's like, I'll give you these. I was like, no, he wants his money back, bro. I was like, no, nah, he don't want no sneakers, bro. Um, I think I'm lagging. I think I'm low-key. Am I lagging, chat? Am I good? I was low-key lagging there. I think I was lagging for a bit. Well, my good chat. I think I was lagging for like a second right there. I'm not sure if that was uh me. I think I was lagging. No, my good. I, think I was lagging for like a second. Uh, you're good. Okay, I'm good. But that was my story. We ended up getting his money back right then and there. The dude was sad. I was like, bruh, I can understand you're sad, but still, you still you try to got him. Uh, but that was my story that, that was my only, that was my only, uh, my only time, my only incident that I actually caught a fake.
The only time ever. Other than that, like, I don't really authenticate anyone's sneakers because I don't, I'm not an authenticator like that. But it was one of my really good friends that I knew and I wanted to help him out. So, uh, I saw you do a step back. You lagged. Okay. Because that's why I figured because it said reconnecting. Uh, but we got 10 more minutes, chat. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that story. Um, I was actually really, really nervous to go to this guy's house because I was like, bro, you sure you know this guy personally? Bro, it was like at 9.30 at night, bro. I ain't doing no meetups at 9.30 at night, bro. What if I get kidnapped? What if I get killed? But we were we were all strapped. I was strapped. I made sure I was strapped. Made sure everyone was good. Um, just in case if anything happens. But transaction went fine. Um, remember when me and Rafi first met? Jumperman Chris, I was just, I was just, I was just talking about that story about the uh, Jordan 13s. The Jordan 13s when we first met. Dude, you were at like, you were only at like 5,000 subscribers, bro. I remember that, dude. You were, I remember, Chris, I remember the very first video you put out. It was the Jordan 11, Columbia 11. That was your very first video ever, bro. That's my boy JMK in the building. That was like your very first video that you ever put out, bro. I can remember it because I, I remember watching it. The Jordan 11, Columbia 11s. That was when I first saw Jumperman Chris. And that man was only at like two. I think I, I remember you were at like lower than 5,000, bro. That shit was insane. You going to SneakerCon Vegas? That is the plan, bro. That is the plan. That is absolutely the plan. Um, Rafi, four feet, nothing be better. Be uh, <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, JMK and his uh, red bottoms pranked. Shout out to my boy JMK in the building. Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, we got about eight more minutes, chat. Eight more minutes. Good luck to everybody in the chat that's going for these sneakers, all right? Eight more minutes. We'll see how this drop goes, but we got eight more minutes. Eight more minutes. Uh, yo, Ravi, did you go for the dunks? No, I did not. I did not go for the dunks. I did not go for the dunks. Uh, I'm a Glock 17, 19, and 30 guy, but also got a, a CZ. There you go. Is Google Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay of, available on Union? I'm not 100% sure. You might have to uh, literally cop this manually, but I'm going to go through this process of how fast I am when it comes to copying this shoe, okay? Well, I'm, I'm going to try to go as fast as possible and see. I'll show you guys how I cop. Um... Uh, <laughs> that's my boy, Jumperman Chris in the building. Now look at us now, JMK. Now look at us now, bro. Look at you, man. You're, you're, what, you're, you, are you, aren't you at almost like 200K? 200K now? But what? Hands blowing up. Uh, Rafi got the, uh, got the switches on deck. Why do people say union website drops are trash? Probably because from the last drop, to be honest. I think everyone got salty from the last drop, and that's the reason why. That's the reason why people are saying, oh, F union, F union this because of the last drop. I think that's the reason why. So, I don't blame people, to be honest. I don't think people are too hyped around this uh, union drop. It's crazy how dramatic the drop is, though. Like, for real. I don't know if it's because it's a Cortez, but last time we live copped the Jordan 2 unions, that was pretty pop. And that, we had over like 2,000 people watching. I don't, I think people definitely got really salty about union LA, man. And plus, it's a Cortez. No, no one's really hyped over Union Cortez, to be honest. No one's hyped around Union. I mean, uh, Cortez in general. But, I mean, shit. I just feel like uh, people definitely got salty on the last drop for sure. I can't wait to see how this drop is going to uh, go with Union. I'm actually curious, too. I, I, don't, I, I think they'll do better uh, from the Jordan 2 drop. But we'll see. We got six more minutes to find out how, what's going uh, to be happening. We shall see. Uh, Cortez is an LA thing. Uh, Rappy JMK collab stream. Yeah, we need to get JMK on soon. I know JMK is a very busy guy. I feel like JMK has been busy in the last like year or so because he's been traveling, traveling a lot lately. So I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Union is like a chick that has a uh, hip but no booty. Yes, man. I don't want to, I don't want to like, I wouldn't like interrogate women like that, but sure. Uh, I wouldn't interrogate a woman like that, man. What would you say? What, what would you say about a, a, a guy? 
you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I wouldn't discriminate, I wouldn't discriminate women like that. It's just like, you're saying like a man could be, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it at all. Cortez is a straight gangster shoes. There you go. I guess, uh, Cortez are great, but the union collab is trash in my opinion. I think it's because it's a Cortez. I think it's because it's a Cortez. I think it's because it's a Cortez. I think that's the reason why there's not, I'm not going to say it, bruh. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it, bruh. I'm not gonna say it, dude. <sighs> oh my goodness, bruh. Let's run it up, though. Hit that like button if you guys don't mind. Let's get, can we get to 400 likes real quick, chat? If you don't mind, we got over 700 of you beautiful people in the building. Uh, we need to get a collab stream soon. We really do, Chris, bro. We do, bro. I need to get you back on the streams. For real, for real. Corvette, Corvette, man. We need to get you back on the streams. I don't know. I don't know when. Maybe I should get you on on the, um, let's see, the Jordan 1 Low. If you want to come on on the Jordan 1 Low, we can get you on the Jordan 1 Low. Uh, by the end of this month, June 30th is going to be the drop. We could see we could plan something on the, the 30th. Uh, I think that's the same day. I don't know what else is dropping on the 30th. I think it's just that one. We could try to, we got maybe sometime in July too. We got some July drops as well. Uh, reverse mocha collab stream. We could do that. The reverse mocha stream should be pretty big too. I still wear classic Cortezes when I go to the gym. What's up with the sneaker battle? Sneaker battle is going to be this week, bro. Sneaker battle is going to be this week. Yo, uh, stretch kicks. You got to redeem yourself, bro. You got to redeem yourself from the last, uh, the last time. Uh, Yeezy day. I think I'm going to stick with my, my normal plan for Yeezy day, which is going to be like this drop or with this setup right here. Cause I need this type of setup for a uh, Yeezy day for sure. Uh, when is Yeezy day? I think Yeezy day supposedly should be August 1st and 2nd. I heard it might be a two day event. I've been following a lot of John Alexander streams. So, um, in like videos. So, uh, it might be that day. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I would stay tuned. I would, you know, tap in on Roscoe's videos, um, and possibly, you know, John Alexander's cause I, you know, they, you know, set up a lot of, uh, Streams or videos like that. Rafi 30th, I'll be at Disney. Uh, J July, I'm talking about June 30th. June 30th, Chris. June 30th. That's like in next week. Next week, Thursday. June 30th. We could set something up by the end of June. We could set something up. We could do that. If if you're not too busy, we could do June 30th. If you want to uh, jump on the uh, on the stream, you got to remind me though. Carlos, don't even want them Cortezes. You taking off work for Easy Day? Yes. I will be off for Yeezy Day for sure. Yeezy Day, I will definitely be off. I haven't lost a sneaker battle uh, this year. There it goes, Stretch. You got all that heat. That's why, bro. You got all that heat. Hopefully, you don't lose uh, to uh, the sneaker, uh, my sneaker battle this year. Um, what color you're opting in the Union Courts? I'm not going for any of them today, bro. I am skipping on today's drops. Uh, I need them turtle dubs. That's what we need, bro. Turtle dubs. We need a freaking, we need the red stripes. That's what we all need, bro. Like, I need the red stripes for sure. Red stripes is essential for 2022. All right, one more minute, chat. One more minute. Good luck to everybody. One more minute. If you guys don't mind, man, let's run it up to 400 likes. It's going to be my 400 like in the chat real quick. We got a one more minute. Oh, June 30th, you'll be at Disney. Oh, shit. Well. We'll figure something out, Chris. We'll figure something out. I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up whenever um to see if you're not busy on one of these drops, man. I'll hit you up. Uh Rafi going live, uh, going live for the people. One minute, good luck to people. All right. I'm gonna keep my screen up until we uh get through Q. Until we get through Q, I'll leave my screen up here. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, chat. Here we go. Let's see how this drop is gonna go, man. We'll see how this drop is going to go. 20 seconds, chat. All right. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Eight o'clock. What happened? What's going on? Come on. Hello? No, that's not Union. Hello? What the hell's going on? 
Union, open it. Nothing? Anybody? Uh, you might have to wait five minutes. Sounds about right, Cook. It's not open. Nothing. Oh, there it goes. It's open. There it goes. Hello? Oh, there it goes. Okay, here's the Q. Uh, what is the third letter in Cortez? R. Oh, man, draw a box around the biggest airplane. Submit. All right, here we go. Estimated wait time. Estimated wait time. That's how I got through the queue. Jesus. What's my estimated wait time? What did I get? What did I get? Come on. Less than a minute. <laughs> Easy cop. Less than a minute, chat. It had to boot up with the uh, the items. Yeah. That wasn't... It seemed like this is going to be an easy cop. Union LA. Let me know if you guys hit two minutes. I got less than a minute. Dude, that was a weird drop for some reason. That was weird. Yup, easy cop right there. Easy cop. A hundred and thirty dollars is retail. Um, uh, not sure. Okay, it's gonna be a hundred and forty-eight dollars. Shipping is eighteen dollars. Shipping is eighteen dollars. Shipping is eighteen dollars. Let me know if you guys hit cop them w on uh from uk there you go let me know anybody hit you got three minutes kyle three minutes global release i think it might be global bro i think it might be global sneaker mom got six minutes estimated three minutes yeah i got less than a minute bro less than a minute is what i got uh, less than a minute um, let's see. Let's go back to Union. Yeah, it loaded up on the home page, just like how I told you guys. It loaded up on the home page. Uh, sold out. They sold out. Wow, they sold out. No way they sold out, bro. Ain't no way they sold out. Bigger sizes are gone, bro. Sizes 12, 13 are gone. Let me know if you guys cops sold out. Uh, I think 12 and a 13 is gone. Uh, got in, no queue, sold out, 13, easy cop, sold out, but pass, sold out. Wow. Wait, what size are you guys, uh, are, uh, what size did it sell out? Okay, no, 11 half just sold out. Or no, excuse me, 11 just sold out. 12 just loaded back up. Okay, now they're, now they're selling out. Size 10 and a half is gone. Uh, size 10 and a half is gone. Eight still there. Let's see. These are, wow, dude, the white pair, the, the, the tan pair is the one that everyone went for because they sold out quick. Undefeated has them. I don't see that undefeated drop them. Union. I don't think I don't think undefeated got him, bro. Let me know. I can't believe they're ugly. She's so I mean everything sells out, bro. It doesn't matter. Everything sells out. Eh, yeah, dude. I think everyone went for this colorway because this is the one that sold out the fastest. Five and a half gone. Yeah, this shit sold out quick, bro. All the all their bigger sizes sold out first. Wow. 
it wasn't it was an easy checkout bro i had less than a minute it, it was easy for me i got less than a minute for me i got less than a minute they're still restocking yeah every time i every time i really like refresh more sizes pop up but the the tan pair this is the one that was cooked i think everyone went for this colorway right here i had a three minute and sold out in black wow i wonder if it was botted i'm sure it was sure it was sure it was it was really really botted but i skipped this is like the very first union that i actually skipped on like i didn't go for i didn't go for it this is like the first union that i actually skipped on um top seven and a half for uh Norris. there you go yes sir i hit shipping from warehouse in three weeks Rafi, uh, you are a size eight. That's so much easier than a size 12. It really is, bro. I'm not going to lie. Smaller sizes are always easier to hit. I would definitely agree with that. Smaller sizes are always easy to hit. Uh, it says Solings tweeted it will uh, take three weeks to mail out. Oh my gosh, that sucks. You're not going to get your shoes. You're not going to get your shoes until three weeks. <laughs> Damn. Typical. It sounds like typical union, bro. Uh, um, shout out to Gia. Thank you so much for ringing up Corvette, Corvette. for uh, six months. I just paid for my, my uh, Rappi membership for uh, for the month. Shout out to Kia. Kia, where you been, Kia? There's Kia. Kia, it seems like you've been busy. Don't worry, Kia. We got, hey, don't worry, Kia. We're going to get Shopify filters on the Discord if you want to pay $2 for that. No, we got we got Shopify filters coming very very soon on the Discord group just for you, Kia. Just for you. We're going to get Shopify filters uh just for you uh on the Discord group if you still want to join up and that's going to be $2 a month just for you. Uh but shout out to everyone that hit. Man, damn, that 3 weeks is damn, that's a long time. They're charging $18 for you guys, bro. $18 Eighteen dollars. They're charging eighteen dollars for a three-week shipping. They smoking on that, bro. <laughs> they charging eighteen dollars for shipping, bro. Eighteen freaking dollars for shipping. For me, that's crazy, bro. Eighteen dollars for shipping. Like that is crazy. And the fact that they're not shipping within three weeks, bro. We get free shipping from Sneakers app, and we get our shoes on time. They're, yo, Union is straight scamming us. <laughs> Union is straight scamming us. Uh, shipping should be free. If we're, yeah, exactly. Shipping should be absolutely free for waiting for three weeks. That is crazy. Three weeks. Um, they're still making the shoes. LOL, probably, bro. They are probably still making the shoes. They're probably most likely still making the shoes. Congrats, whoever will hit big facts, man. Hey, who's going to be my 400 like in the chat? If you guys don't mind smashing that like button, I greatly appreciate you guys tapping in, man. Congratulations to whoever hit, bro. Congratulations to whoever hit. Uh, but I'm surprised how fast it actually sold out. That, that sold out really, really quick. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Really, really quick. Do you think they uh, will sell well? I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. I'm a Manier Union. I don't know. Uh, why would that uh, thing to do better if it's not exclusive? I guess so, bro. This was another uh, pre-order drop by Union. Hopefully no one got charged like 30 times. <laughs> Did anyone in the chat get charged like multiple times? I know. You got to think about Nit Nitro, bro. Oh, no, excuse me, Gem. People always say this all the time. People say this all the time. Oh, I don't want them until like the release date, the release time comes and everyone wants them. Uh, no domain switch. They probably wanted it to sell out, bro. They want it. They probably want it to sell out. That was probably the reason why they didn't change the domain change because they knew people wouldn't really be interested in this Cortez's, which is fine. The bots probably ate for sure. The bots definitely probably ate this year, uh, this morning for sure. I don't, I don't really care for it. Uh, did you hit Raffi? No, I skipped on this release this morning. I skipped on this release this morning. Oh, there goes the naked, the naked films trying to debot the stream. Um, but that's basically it, man. Cortez is officially sold out, man. Officially freaking sold out. Hey, Raffi, are you going to sell or wear them Tom shoes? 
I think I'm going to use them as trade bait, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use those Toms as trade bait. I'm going to bring them to SneakerCon Vegas. That's what I'm going to do with those Toms. I'm bringing them to SneakerCon Vegas, and I'm going to use them as trade bait because I, I could use them for a good trade, in my personal opinion. Um, and then that's what I that's what I'm planning to do. That is what I am planning to do is bringing my Toms to SneakerCon and doing a trade. Uh, hey, Raph, are you going to go sell? Oh, I just read that. Damn, sold out quick for it to supposedly be trash. LOL. Um, Roscoe said the stock numbers on Cortez's are very low. I guess so. I mean, I, I wouldn't. As, I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. If the stock is low, then why would they? Then why would they? Uh, why would they do first come first serve at at uh, LA? Like that's the thing. Why would why would they why would they be why would it be low stock if they're doing a first come first serve at Union LA? You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it was limited, bro. Someone said there was no domain change and it probably got botted. In my personal opinion, that was probably the reason why it sold out quick because it was botted. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think stock numbers were that low. Um. I just feel like there was no domain switch um, from what people said in the chat and bots probably ate. That's probably how it went. Because there's no way it was if it's limited and they're doing first come first serve at Union LA. No way, bro. Ain't no way. That's just my thoughts on it. But um, I thought you would wear them if uh, Tom's a few hit. Well, shit changes, man. Shit changes. I might use them as trade bait. Um, they're restocking in August, so I could go for them again. So, um, I don't know. We'll we'll uh, we'll we'll go for them again, man. We'll go for them in, again in August. Um, let's see. Off Nor had nineteen hundred and uh, Sesame's at fourteen hundred. Really? Okay. So if the stock numbers are true, I guess so, man. Uh, nineteen hundred pairs of the. Yeah, at the, at this point, bro, bro, do we really believe in stock numbers, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, do we really believe in stock numbers? Like, if it's that low, then why is Union going to take three weeks to send out pairs? If stock numbers were that low, why is it going to take Union to ship out in, within three weeks? That still don't make no sense to me, bro. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. If they had that many pairs, if they had low stock like that, that many pairs of low stock, then they should ship out within this week. Uh, Union said three weeks until shipping. Yep. Apparently, it, that's what Soling said. Soling said they're going to be shipping within three weeks. I'm not sure if that's what it says. Um, I'm not sure if it says it on here. Uh, Union with another uh, trash drop. I'm sure the uh, the colorway, the uh, this colorway right here is gonna drop on sneakers app for sure. Uh, Julio, thank you so much for the two dollar donation. Always watch you at work. Going for the five fifties for the ALDs. Yeah, I'm gonna sign up for the ALDs. I'm definitely gonna sign up for the ALDs raffle. It ends today, so if you want to sign up for that, it's 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 gonna end today. Uh, Union confirmation says that they're going within three weeks. Yeah. See, the thing is, like with stock numbers, just like I said, if they have low stock numbers, they should they should ship in within a week, in my personal opinion. There's no reason why it's going to take this long for them to ship out. No way, bro. No way. Uh, you see that uh, Apple OAS 15 is supposed to help skip uh, sites captures? Um, I did not see that. I did not see that. Uh, dope hat. What hat is that? It's Kill the Hype LA. Kill the hype, LA. Ten dollar, uh, eighteen dollar shipping for a three week. Yeah, it's crazy. It should be free. Like I've, I've said it before. It should be a, a free, a free uh, shipping. My personal opinion, they should have done it for free. I don't know why it's that much. Took an L on the black pair, down bad. It's all good. It's all good. On, I've seen this pair in hand. I didn't see the black pair in hand, but I'm just not a Cortez fan like that. I don't have a pair of Cortezes in my collection, so I don't. I don't really need this sneaker in my sneaker collection. I feel like this shoe is going to look nice with some like light denim pants. Light denim pants. I feel like this will look good. Uh, let's get a Ganador on the next drop. Anything over $50 should we have free shipping. I agree with you. Well, if it's going to take that much, 
take that long, I think it sh it shouldn't shouldn't be that much. Uh, Solings just tweeted exclusive access for something on JD Sports finish line. Well, exclusive access for what though? Why is my freaking why is the tweet not loading up? Exclusive access on dunks. On uh, JD Sports finish line exclusive EA. Check EA on finish line and JD Sports for dunks. Uh, let me see. Go to status. Um. View all. I didn't get any EA. Did anyone get EA? Did anyone get EA? I guess Solings tweeted out EA for uh for dunk glows. Let me check what dunks it was. So it was for Chicago dunks. I'm not sure if that's GS. Dunk highs, pandas, men's and women's. Oh, these are men's. These are men's dunk glows. And then we have the... I forgot what these were called. I forgot what these were called right here. These are uh, EA. Chicago dunks, Panda dunks, men's. Yep. Make sure you guys check EA. Check your EA. Let me know if you guys hit or not because uh, I didn't get EA, any EA, bro. I never hit EA on freaking finish line, bro. Never. Uh, nothing. Chicago's men. Nothing. Let me know if you guys hit. Let me know if you guys hit. Matt said nothing. Uh, no EA for me, which is fine. I just, dude, Kia, we've been here before, Kia. We've been here before. You know what I wish? They should just do shock drops. Just first come, first serve. Just how they used to do with the Panda Lows. That's how I hit on JD Sports twice because of EA. I got EA. There you go. There you go. Got EA. Congrats. Uh, yo, Rafi, what uh, sweatshirt you got on? This is the Richie Lee collection. This run right here is the Richie Lee collection. Um, if you're wondering. But shout out to Jamie in the bin. What up? Error page? Uh-oh. It's probably because people are checking if they got EA. If you already are getting, like, slow uh, slow errors on uh, the finish line app, it's probably because everyone's trying to jump on EA right now. So if you guys got EA, let me know if you guys got a W or not. Um, social status has two hours left on the raffle for Cortez's. Okay. Uh, damn, the Cortez off New York is already at $300 in a size, uh, size 10. Sneaker mom, just wait. Just wait until everyone gets their pairs in hand. Just wait until get, until everyone gets their pairs in, uh, in hand, right? They need to go back to the old ways to, uh, used to love it to be able to hit. Dude, I don't think they're going to do it anymore, to be honest. They're not going to do first come, first serve anymore on, um, on JD Sports and Finish Line exclusive access. No way. They are not going to do that anymore, to be honest. They're not. Um, but that's basically it for me, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the dunk. Uh, we got dunks dropping tomorrow. Uh, we got the what? We got the all white SB dunks dropping, and we have the uh the all pink dunks dropping tomorrow as well. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of updates for you guys. Hopefully, we can get Shopify uh filters uh for the Discord soon, hopefully sooner than later. So I could show you guys how much you guys are getting scammed from some of these cook groups. All right. Cause I'm still going to, I'm still going to let my members just charge $2 a month for Shopify filters and monitors. Um, and we're probably going to add more on, um, in the near future. So, um, I can't wait for what's coming up on discord very, very soon. So hopefully we could get Shopify monitors, uh, running up by next month. And then that should be very, very useful for a lot of my manual users in here. I'll show you guys that you guys are getting a really, really good deal on a lot of these monitors, right? But you guys run it up. Hit that like button. Let's get to 400 likes. Uh, if you guys don't mind and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, greatly appreciate you guys. Um, and then we're going to go from there. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. You guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'm out of here, man. All right? I remember. I remember, 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 I
got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. No matter what I do, what I gon' do, I got deja vu. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. No matter what I do, I'm stuck on you. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu. I got deja vu. I know my mind ain't playing tricks on. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. I got deja vu, yeah. No matter what I do.